So, we're playing XCOM. For the people who haven't caught up, um, this is Ben playing XCOM with the Warhammer mod. It's, it's very cool. Um, Valkan is interrupting me with a very generous 10 gift subs, which is very cool. Big claps for Valkan, thank you very much. Super generous. Um, a little recap, we've got main base, main base alpha here. We're building a chapel, which is like a nerd wizard house. Uh, we're going to use to train up some psychic powers. Um, and we've got an apothecary bay and research labs and all that good stuff. And we've got secondary base over here with a adamantium forge. It's cranking out parts for us to make more power armor. Um, and I found this out. Look, the training. The training's starting to pay off. Um, if we go to soldiers, look at these guys who have been sat here in training for, a, for like a month. Their stats are already going up. Look at these little stat upgrades. So now when, when um, Imperial Guard die, what I'm going to do is um, instead of recruiting new guard into the main base, I'm going to transfer over the guards of secondary base um, that have trained up. So our Imperial Guard will be like less terrible, which is pretty cool. Um, might we just need to, this is like the best shot here. Space Moses, you get to ride in the center. Clank, clank, clank. Thank you. Um, and then we just get some strong boys. Put them in the crappus armor. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, cool. So this was nice. I haven't looked at these guys for a while. And it was kind of fun to see that they're not terrible anymore. These are, they've all had a bit of an upgrade. Um, so we'll look we'll come back to these guys in a bit. Back to the main base. Um is our shield. We've got a mission to do. Very important mission. Look at this clusterfuck. Um what is actually happening? This is a... Oh, that's an enemy base. We've got a cult ritual. That's the one. So... We, oh my god, guys! Give me a chance! Give me a chance with all these... All these donos! We'll read through the messages in a sec. Um, Ball of String wants me to scroll through the guys in the main base. Okay, very quickly though. We're not going to spend too long on this. Um, these are all the guys who are currently alive. So we've decided for all these um, cult rituals, the plan now is um, the sisters. We've, we've updated the game. Sisters, we can't buy sisters anymore because we're doing a marine run and sisters have their own separate campaign. So the two sisters we've got left are going on a penitent crusade. In fact, they all are. All the sisters are on a penitent crusade. They drop in. Um, they have a few random guardsmen. What does that exclamation mark mean? To like fly the plane and hang around. Um, and they have to go on every mission until they die. That's how that's going to work. Um, have they got enough stuff here? I need some frag grenades too. Uh, Wolf Lord Lewis wishes to go on the next mission. Oh my god, and he spent his channel points to do it. I don't like sending space marines with guard. You're ruining my neat neatness. All right, fine. Uh, where are you? You spent your channel points. I can't argue with that. And that means I've got to. Oh, yeah, but I had given you the medic armor. My plan. Oh, well, you can still have the medic armor. Actually, that's fine. Um, my plan is you were desperate for the chapter banner, and I found out that medic armor trains up bravery so if we you do a few more missions in the medic armor you're gonna get a big bravery buff and then you'll be even better at using the um uh the banner that's my plan long-term training um okay they've probably got enough stuff let's not worry about it too much let's just get into a mission um go <laughs> Here we go. So we, um, I don't know if you remember last time, we had some trouble with uh, recoil. It turns out the recoil stats are in the game, they're just hidden. Not only in Stats for Nerds, there's nothing about it here, you have to go to the debug screen and then scroll down and then it will tell you here where the recoil Take is. 
So the Space Marine Bolt Gun's got a recoil of 40. Anyone who has less than 40 strength is going to get an accuracy penalty. So sisters can't use Marine Bolters. But we can get smaller Bolters, which I've ordered some of, but they haven't arrived yet. Um, so we've got Ghost McFloats, Rock and a Flamer. Um, this is going to be like the standard, standard loadout. Um, Faith is our shield. Sister Flamer, cool. Um, and then we just go like what? Boop. Oh, not enough items. Of course, there's not. Um, who's got all the flamers? Who's hogging the flamers? You nerds. Uh, Wolflord Lewis, you do not need two different kinds of chain melee weapons. That's that's greedy. Um, oh, we didn't really pack any. I guess you have a bolt gun. If that's two-handed, you're going to get a one-handed aim penalty. Oh, well. You'll be fine. Um, okay, so we've only got two flamers for four sisters. We're going to have to commit heresy and give them las guns, which feels very wrong to me. Um... Oh well, what can you do? Um, everyone else equipped? I guess so. You only have two flamers on the ship. Yeah, it's true. Uh, let's give one of them a... Who's the strongest one? The strongest one can have the chainsaw. How about that? Chiron. You're a chainsaw boy now. Congrats. Um, you can also have a grenade in your hand. Because why not? Um, <laughs> the Codex Sororitas does not support this action. <laughs> You're right. You're damn right it doesn't. Um, right, you can drop your last gun and take that flamer. Perfect. Okay, that'll do. We're going in. Straight into battle, and there's just a firing squad ready to meet us as soon as we open the door. Um, Time for some payback. Okay. Right. The Mossad. Engaging. Does not have enough time to shoot. Of course he doesn't. Ah. Get back. Ground. Um. Time for some payback. Let's get some guard out here. Right. God, who was that? What is it? Duke's taking the hits. I got gotcha. you. We'll just shoot, let's just shoot back. Come on. Yeah, no wonder she's missing. Sisters don't like to carry Laz guns. It's all it's all heresy. Fine. Samwise. No more messing about. Get out there. Draw their fire. And burn a nate. That guy's going to die, surely. Surely. <laughs> You're right. It's interesting that they decide to land the Valkyrie with its pintle-mounted weapons facing away from the enemy. Classic Imperial Guard incompetence. I mean, you can blame Mossad. He was the pilot. It's his job to land the thing. Burn them all! Wow, that was a real, real long miss. Flamer only shoots like this far. Jeez. <laughs> um, okay, Chiron, what do you need? 13 to chuck. Get out there, Chiron. Show them what you got. Perfect. Oh, this is a good... It's a good landing. I think we're doing some work here, guys. Um... Come on, uh, Malador, your co-pilot. Good work. Good work, Malador. I gotcha. Uh, how badly wounded is Jukes? Not, not really. It is a flesh wound. Covering ground. You'll be fine. Heading out. Uh, I see him. Okay, maybe the last couple of guys like hang back. Following orders. In case of, in case of grenade Following emergency. Orders. A little scout about. Who's guy? Okay, yes, good. 
Oh, hello. Um. Oh my god, Imperial Guard, they're just the worst. No one's as bad as Imperial Guard. What is it? Ellen Mac, can you finish this? Finish this boy off? Heading out. That's all I ask. All I ask is a quick little little pop. Ow. Bum. Uh Thermite First says, I've been thinking about making a strategy game engine. That it's going to be for XCOM style games and such, with a focus on multi-sided combat fronts. Ooh. Tell me more. Tell me more. Covering ground. Take me into battle. Oh man, lost Lorf. Thank you for donating. It's very cool. Okay, Wolf Lord Lewis. Time to get in there. You chunky boy. Uh. Yeah! One-handed bolt gun for the win. Alright, let's do it. Oh god, there's another guy in that building. Oh, the grenades! The grenades are real! Here we go! And how bad is it going to be? Yeah. Oh, Malador. I thought this would be safe. I thought putting him this way to this kind of tiny part of the map was going to be fine. Like, just keep the pilot out of the main thick of the fighting. He can just kill that one dude, go in this building, and just ignore the rest of the battle. Turned out, it's a little hotbed of heresy. A heretical hotbed, if you will. And there's still a guy in there. Uh... You'd probably play the original XCOM more if watching the enemy turn didn't give you a seizure. That's my bad. I've turned the enemy speed up um, really high. Um, if that's too much for you, like we can we can turn that down a bit. You know, we can go uh, AI move speed down a bit. Okay. See how that looks now. Uh, Ready to all right. Wolf Lord Lewis, stick your stick your nathesium in this boy's brain. Please. Thank you. Oh jeez. You're wounded. That grenade got you pretty bad, dude. Oh my god, I thought you'd be like a walking tank in this mission. Alan Mack got wounded too. Loads of people got wounded. Oh my god, this is worse than I thought. Okay, um to take care of that guy. Elon Mac, can you Engaging. can you take these out? Can you kiss your own boo boos? I don't think you can kiss your own boo boos in this. You know? out. I think Covering kissing your own boo boos is heresy. The emperor's watching. He knows if you're kissing your own boo boos. You don't want to make baby emperor cry. Deploy information. Mm. Time for some payback. <laughs> Quatox says you can kiss your own boo-boos but you need to repent after <laughs> uh, that's what Fur goes on to say about his um, his game idea uh, they heavily influenced by the XCOM files thinking of adding three or four enemy factions imagine the chaos on a four-sided combat <sighs> oh my god Sounds mad. If you can like turn them against each other and stuff, that sounds oh my god, the Mossad's nearly dead. Then um that sounds very cool. If you can like play some kind of political right. game and like ally with some and make up uh, make them fight each other and stuff, I'm on board. I like it. Our Emperor gives us strength. Uh, how do we deal with that guy who's really far away? Time for some payback. Uh bring him down. Can we like just run to here? Covering ground. Come on, Dukes. Show them what you got. Bring down. Oh, Dukes. Dude. We know our I believed place. in you. We know our place. Uh looks like it's time for another Chiron special. I feel like if you're equipped for melee, you're actually just a grenadier in this game. 
You know, like I have all these intentions of like charging into melee combat. But it always just boils down to, oh, they're too far away to melee. I'll just try and throw a grenade instead. Um. Following orders. Mossad, you are still alive, but only just, Mossad. Look, look, you've got five health and one, and you're bleeding one a turn. Uh. Alright. Bring up the flame, my brothers. Oh, I mean sisters. Uh, what can you see? That guy. Oh, this guy up there. This building is full of heresy. Well, one heresy at a time. Uh, as Cyphus Kane once said, the best way to get the sisters of battle to do what you want, point them in the vague direction of the enemy and shout heresy. <laughs> yep, sounds about right. That'll do it. Oops, Samwise got a bit, a little bit burnt there. Um, he'll be fine. It's just his burning fervor. It's fine. Okay, Link Talos. You are going to try and chuck a grenade in there and try and flush that heresy out. Hello. Oh, not not, not enough time units. Just like run over there. I'll be fine. Yeah, Cypher Kane knows what's up. He's a good boy. Still a bit seizure isn't it? Even though they're moving slower. Oh, Mossad! Oh, that jerk just pops around the corner and ices you as you're running to the medic. Oh, that's brutal. Why did he even go for Mossad? I think he was shooting at Wolf Lord Lewis and just like was a real bad shot. Oh, sorry, Mossad, man. You were good. I was keeping you back on purpose. There was, like, two better targets. Than... Into battle. That's unlucky. Thank All you, Lord. Um, more melees, I guess. Vengeance! Now, oh, whoops. <laughs> I've just gone to medic the enemy. That's not good. That's not what you want. Um, hit him instead. Do not heal. Destroy. Purge. Ready to serve. Following orders. That's definitely heresy. I'm calling it right now. Oh, I think this is the naughty room. Yes, sir. We found it. Call them all in. Covering ground. <laughs> I was just checking exactly where the best spot to kill him was. That's right. I was giving him like a, a medical scan. Get him in the heresy gland. They don't like it in there. Right, since we've got this building full of full of evil, let's um let's get the grenades ready. We're gonna prime them up. Uh oh, guess my folks do not have grenade. Karen still has one left though. Uh. Hmm. Sisters of the Battle don't really like fighting in big open open ground. It's not good for their health. Duke's just gonna lay down some covering fire and hit every single thing except the enemy. Good job. Um Ghost McFloat's gonna have to get in this building, I think. Are we ready? Link Talos. There he is. I'll do. Okay, I think we're on top of this now. Had some some pretty brutal wounds, but we're going to be all right. One of my sisters is a traitor. That's what the glowing red means. A lot of them are glowing red. Is that what that means? This guardsman's glowing red. I don't think they ever shot anyone. Is that the only one that's glowing? This one's glowing too. Oh, yeah, Ghost McFloats did flame Samwise. That's probably what it is. Um. Oh, shit, that means they did friendly fire. Youch. Okay. Uh, can he heal himself? I, I really 
Oh, he can heal himself. <gasps> Amazing. Oh, that's good. Okay. Wolf Lord Lewis yes, is going to breach. And um, Telchan and Ellen Mack are going to help him out. Pushing ahead. And once they get their boo boos kissed. Ready for action. Perfect. Um, Samwise is sad. Sad, sad Samwise. Can we? How am I going to lob a grenade at that guy? I don't know. What, this angle is going to be weird. Okay. No. Can I get it like here, here, here? Maybe that's enough. Don't know. Have I ever played Chapter Master? Yes, I have. I played it like um, like a month or two ago. Um, it's on the Lewis and Ben Save the World channel. If you want to check it out, or you can just check the vod out on this channel. Um, yeah, it was good fun. But I played it like after a long XCOM stream, so I was a bit tired. Um. And made a lot of silly mistakes. But I really want to go back and try it out again. I've been meaning to. But I feel like I need to play XCOM like once a week. To like actually make some progress. Whereas Chapter Master will be one of those games I play as like a bonus. If I'm going to do an extra stream in the week. And I'll, and I'll give it a go. <laughs> XCOM cancelled. Chapter Master new best friend. <laughs> I need to play more of it before I get super excited. At the moment, it's just kind of like a fun, fun idea. I'm worried that it will be like kind of too admin-y and too many menus. Um, but we'll definitely give it a go. I think it'll be fun to give it another crack. Did I have any difficulty installing it? Uh, no, no, it just worked. Um, had no problem at all. Maybe try wiping it and like starting again. Maybe something went wrong on the installation. Um, but I have heard it crashes a lot. I haven't had many crashes, but everyone's told me to get ready for mega crashes. It's pretty unstable, being, you know, not a real game. Oh, no, look at this. Wolf Lord Lewis has breached. Oh, no, this, I haven't ended turn. Oh, I thought this was a new turn because I was distracted. Oh, dear. Okay, well, yeah, all the civilians are dead then. Um, they've clearly been tainted by chaos. Death is all they deserve. I wonder if Dukes is going to get like a lot of firing skill from just taking all these pot shots all game. Oh, he's getting a lot of grenade kills today. This is good. <laughs> Samwise thinks he's taking the top burning further thing a bit too seriously. You're right, man. You're good. Um. Right, here we go. Keep on chopping. Chop your way to victory, Lewis. Chop, chop, chop. Oh, no, you're out of time units. Oh, no. God, that'd be terrifying. Being in a really small, confined space and a space marine burst through the door with a chainsaw arm and just... Whew, what would you do? It's like that opening scene in Iron Man where he makes that first suit of Iron Man armor and he's in those like Taliban caves. Like, what would you do? It's absolutely terrifying. Oh no, you still haven't calmed down yet, Samwise. You're still on fire. Crazy man. Uh, need eight to chop. We can sprint. We can sprint Chiron up with a berserk chainsaw charge. Miss. Oops. Can Samwise do it? Look at it go, can't he? Oh, no, he can't. Uh, he can hide around the corner. Do it next turn. Can't argue with that. Can Space Marines carry extinguishers? <laughs> I haven't seen them in the buy menu, I'm going to be honest. I think, um... I really wish there was a, like, a way to put fires out. Like, if you could, like... If you... If one of your friends punched a friend who was on fire, it doesn't do punch damage. It just, like, has a chance of putting out the fire. That would be quite fun. You could get, like, a bunch of guys to, like, pat them down. Roll them around on the floor. Hostiles 
protect. Is that heresy? Does the emperor protect? Is the fire just like a test of faith? And if the fire kills you, your faith was found wanting. I think it's like a witch hunter trial, right? Divine Sounds about right to me. Oh, these might be the two last guys left. They're afraid! Ah, there's the last one. God, man, Wolf Lord Lewis is just like carving this room up. Oh, he's... what's up with his melee attacks? He's missed so many of them. Oh, shit. Have you ever seen a Sister of Battle roll on the ground? I think not. <laughs> Faith is our shield. It's fair. It's fair point. Come on, Chiron. Chop this boy down. Good job. Uh, does that just leave this guy now, I think? What is it? Uh, Covering ground. Come on, Jukes. More I training. <laughs> um... Oh, there's a boy down there. Come on, Jukes. I really, I really want you to get some, get some skills here, Jukes. Come on. Yay! He did it! He got there in the end! And then we do that just leaves this guy. Who are we going to get with him? Another Chiron chop? I think so. A Chiron Karate special chop. That's got to be it, right? Nope. Hmm. Oh, that guy you see just dropped another 500 bits. Let's take my last bits. Got to hop off now. Have a good night. Thank you, that guy you see. You have a good night too. Thank you very much for your support. Hope you catch up on the VOD later. Um, hmm. Where's the last guy going to be then? I really thought that was going to be the, the end of them. I have to spread out. Could we'll cover more ground that way. Classic horror movie style. Oh, there's still that. Of course, there's that guy Wolfhard Lewis is trying to kill. Chop. Hey! We lost two guys! That's not bad. I'll take that. Oh, 343 points? That's a lot of points. Both pilots. Oh, you're shit. You're right. You're absolutely right. Both pilots died. The two people I was actually trying to keep alive. Like, the sisters were there to die. A death or glory sister attack. But the, um... The two pilots. Jesus. It's so annoying to replace. Oh, God. How do we fly back? Yeah. Someone else just had to take the controls. I guess every Pure Imperial Guardsman in this mod gets, like, a, a one-day crash course in Valkyrie operation. Whew, we do go through a lot of pilots around here, you're right. Faith is our shield. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no, yeah, no, the crash course was a, was a choice. I stand by it. So there we go, look, Wolf of you get 10 bravery for being a medic. So the medic suit is, like... Chapter banner training suit. Uh, you got a bit of strength. Time units and stuff. You didn't get any melee attack. He did loads of meleeing. Bizarre. All right. Uh, Dukes. There you go. He earned his two extra accuracy points by firing like 50 shots. Um, lots of strength upgrades. Oh, devotion from the sisters. That's a new mechanic. I don't think we can use it though because we're not doing a sisters campaign. Um. And then obviously we'll get rid of all of the uh, all of this garbage. There is a button to auto sell it, and I've forgotten. I forget every time. Um, does anyone remember? Uh, oh well. Oh, what? We lost the special LAS gun. Ah, the special lightweight drop trooper LAS gun that the pilot was holding. Just got destroyed in the explosion, I guess. Annoying. Okay. And then Ripperonis. And pepperonis. All right. We need two new pilots from Training Academy 5000. Which ones of you guys? 
Um, we're looking for firing accuracy. Gooey Spaminator. What are your reactions like? Pretty terrible. Oh, it's everyone's reactions terrible. Oh, there you go, Lund. You could be a pilot. You got good bravery, good reactions, good accuracy. Perfect. Welcome on board. Um, what else? Yeah, you'll do. Canadian bacon. Pilot. Uh, there we go. You're good lads. Now let's transfer you. Okay, bacon and lunt. Perfect. And then we'll get some more guardsmen in. Right, what else is going on? Um, what's this boy? It's a very small. I can handle a very small. Something of a very small myself, you know. Um, just a little truck. Just a little truck. The map is very busy, right? It's these walk outposts. They keep spamming trucks out. And I just can't. There's too many. I can't keep on top of them. Once the power armor is ready, we'll assault, we'll assault the orc base. And it may well be a disaster. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, there was an AMA on asking about painting faces. Ooh, I missed it. Um, WP WBP Lund asks, do you have any tips for painting faces? Generally, I avoid it. Um, none of my... In, out of all my Space Marines, they all have their helmets on. Um, uh, so what was the last face I painted? Like Gina's still occult faces, I guess, but that's not super helpful because it's all purple. Weird purple skin. Um, so faces are tricky. I, I generally paint them how I paint anything that, with a lot of detail on it. Um, I give it like a medium base coat. So find like some kind of medium flesh tone that you're happy with. Um, I give it like brown ink or a flesh wash. Again, depending on which color you're looking for. And with a face, because it's quite small, you can be quite delicate with the wash. You don't want to just splash it all on. You want to like do it carefully. So you get like a fair bit on your brush and you like get it into the eyes, you get it into the nose, you get it in the mouth, you get it like under the chin, everywhere, under the eyebrows. And then you let that dry, obviously. It takes ages because it's a wash. And then um, you give it like a, like an overbrush in your original tone because everything's going to be a bit stained from the wash. So you want to get all the flat panels in the medium tone again. So you go, you know, forehead, cheeks, nose, um, chin. And then when that's dry, you go back with like a lighter. So you mix in some like, if you're doing, you know, like Caucasian flesh, you get your like Cadian flesh tone or whichever one you've decided to use. You add a bit of like cream in rather than white, like a like a bleached bone um, or uh, whatever you've got. And then you just go again, tip of the nose, top of the eyebrows, top of the cheeks, tip of the chin, and that that's basically as far as I go with faces. Um, once you've got all the, you know, you've basically got you got shade, you got the ink ink shade at the bottom, you have got the medium tone, you have got the highlight. Um, that'll do for basically the skin for me depending again what level you're trying to get these guys painted to um, you just get like if there's teeth and a tongue because he's shouting you know that's just literally like a little line of white a little blob of red um, if his mouth is closed that's easier um, and for eyes eyes are a nightmare which is why I just leave them sort of heavily shaded like there's a shadow and you can't really see the eyes if you want to do the eyes in my experience, the best way to do the eyes is um, you don't want to be doing like a dot because the chances of you getting two dots the, where they don't look like cross-eyed or like they're derping in two different directions. Um, Take me into battle. What I do is I'll paint the 
colour of the pupils, usually black, unless it's like a really big face. Um, you paint the eye black, and then you paint a little bit of white in either corner. And you just give them quite big eyes, basically. Like, the whole eye's black, then you could do like this side white, this side white, and then a big sort of, and then the black thing in the middle. Um, but the real trick, leave the helmets on. <laughs> then you don't have to worry about it. Plus, it, you know, then it looks cooler. You know, what Space Marine Captain is wearing his full suit of Terminator armor, which is like multiple inches thick ceramite and tougher than a tank. Oh, well, I'll just take my helmet off so I can get immediately one shot. You know, just give him a fancy helmet with a big, big plumage. There you go. That's my, my tricks. Oh, you've been asked to paint D&D &D models. Right, yeah, face is quite important for those characters then. <laughs> yeah, replace all your models with skeletons. No face needed. Exactly, yeah. I mean, literally, look at my armies that I've got right. The ones in my cabinet, I've got Transformers at the top. <laughs> don't need to do faces. Skeletons, don't need to do faces. The only human in that skeleton army is a necromancer with a hood over his face. Uh, the next one down is Lizardmen. Because again, not real, real faces and massive bug eyes, which are really easy to paint. And then Space Marines, all with their helmets on, and then Titans, no faces either. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of faces. <laughs> right, back to the game. Uh, tactical armor complete. How much spare adamantium have we got? Not enough to make more. Uh, so, everyone on adamantium production. Uh, all these, like I said, just trucks. Trucks up to no good. Pilots have arrived. Perfect. Get them on the Valkyrie. Um, boop, boop. Welcome aboard. Um, how are we looking? Ooh. Not great reactions. But decent speed and accuracy. Okay, they'll get trained up. They'll be fine. Uh, oh, the Jolly SS put a tent. Let me let me check that. <laughs> Spooky ghost faces. <laughs> yeah, that works. Just kind of like ring wraith hoods. Um, right, what, what's the next up? Let's take these trucks out. I need to find a way to take less damage. It's the repairing that knocks me out of, out of battle. Maybe I can research an auxiliary system that will mean I'll take less damage. What's the link? Um, oh, oh yeah, sorry, the bot killed the link. Uh, there's the link. Um... Craft systems cost a fair amount. Mm. Everything costs a fair amount. Everything in this mod pack costs a amount of as well. Would me and Lewis play your game if you, if you get around to it? I'll give it a go. I can't promise we'll stream it or make a video on it, but I'll give it a try. And if I think it'll make a fun stream, then I'll do it. I'll try it offline for sure. And then maybe, maybe play it online. Um... Oh my god. They've scrambled. They've scrambled interceptors to go after our Valkyrie. And everything else is, is being seat. repaired. Ah, oh, thumb if I just subbed. Thank you. Oh, no, Wolflord Lewis gave them a sub. Oh, that's very kind. Thanks, dude. Uh, right, we've got rid of some corpses. That's always good. And... Hmm. Make more last cannon, last cannon ammo. We haven't tried the last cannon out yet. I'm excited to see it in action. Ah, look, here we go. The light bolt weapons have arrived. So we can put these on the Valkyrie. And the sisters don't have to carry big, big Chungus um, Space Marine bolt guns anymore. They can carry uh, the lock pattern bolt guns. And even some little babby, babby bolt pistols. 
perfect. Uh, out of crack missiles, of course we are. Because we are always running out of crack missiles. So just order a million. 50 crack missiles! There we go. <laughs> Can we rename the Streamlabs bot to the Adeptus Administratum or the Inquisition? That's a nice idea. We can give it like an Inquisition themed name. <laughs> like that. Or a Servitor. Right. Um, wow, we've actually built all the ammo we need now. So... How many components have we got? 47. Right, ship them off. Faith is our shield. Ship them off. New armor incoming. I think we're actually now building armor faster than we can make the components. Uh, God, we're out of bolt gun ammo too. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna read some messages in a sec. Uh, Otherwise, I'm going to super fall behind. More flamers. You're right. More flamers. There we go. More flamers on the way. Uh, right, okay. So the hangar is finally ready over in Factory Ryan. Should I rebase the Imperial Guard entirely? <laughs> and just have, like, Marine Base and Guard Base? That might be better, hey? Because um, then we'd have another fighter slot freed up. And maybe, I'm going to think about that. <laughs> Rebase to squares! <laughs> uh, I, need, I need room for the librarians and the armories. Yeah, you're right about that, actually. I'm actually got another hangar over here. How much are hangars? Um, I'm only 200k. Oh, let's get it going. Right. Um, what was I doing? Literally can't remember anything. Right. Components. Making more power armor. Ooh. Devastator armor. It's a lot more expensive, but I think we need another suit. Uh, oh, we got two new guys. Perfect. All right, let's get these messages up. Um, what day are we on? The 16th. Um, let's get everyone who's donated today. Get them all in a big old pile. Uh, right. Stick in here. Perfect. Oh. Flightless Hawk, your message is taking up like five lines. Why? Why? Uh, okay, there we go. So, um... Let's spin that wheel. Number 16. Oh, that's the Mossad. No sooner had he died than he is reborn. As, uh, yeah, not a bad guy. They go on to say, hi, Ben. Hope you're well. I just got back into Dark Souls after I quit since the stupid AI for the chaos thingies decided to kill itself and fail my Onion Knight quest. Sad face. Oh, I love the Onion Knight. Painting my German stuff right now. Uh, what is chat painting right now? Yeah, what are you guys painting right now? Let's all have a share. Share share our, our projects. What am I? I've just finished my Lost in the Damned army for Epic. That's what I've been painting. Oh, painting your nails. Very nice. Oh, Red's fan had to pack up their models for a move. Ooh. Oh, loads of people painting. That's amazing. Alright, who is next? It's number eight. It's Lund. 
Lund again, but Lund, you're already in. Can't be Lund. Let's roll again. Three. It's Halkion, who says, let me just type it in before I forget. Halkion. Welcome aboard. Uh, the rare time I remember to turn the stream on. i got to say, this no Lewis and Ben stream has much less dramatic tension than yes Lewis Ben. But at least there's rifles, so that's a win. I volunteer for flashlight duty. Well, welcome. You are indeed a flashlight holder. I know what you mean. It's a bit less, um, I don't know, there was something about the Lewis Ben streams that were very, very stressful. <laughs> and this certainly is not quite as stressful. And... Could I please be a trainee pilot? A oh, Thermite Fur already has a character. Is Thermite Fur Halkion? Are they the same person? Okay. Train. Train him to be a pilot. You got it. Uh, Alright, let's actually put them in training before I forget. Boop, boop. Um. Red's fan has got a guard and a marine, so I can give the guard away. Perfect. Okay, that's very kind of you to say. I had not noticed. Uh, Red's fan's marine is going to go to number nine. Um, which is Samwise. But Samwise, you're you're already in. You can't be in again. Um, so this one's going to go to. Brit Praterion. Bam. Thank you very much. Right, we'll read some more messages. Uh, let's go to the main screen. Uh, where are we at? BB Ford says, Ben, I love the classic XCOM streams. It takes me back to the days with my very first PC. The X-Files was way too long. I was wondering... If since you have done both UFO and Terror from the Deep, would you ever do Apocalypse? It was my fave as a kid. Um, I, I'm not excited to go back to Apocalypse. I did play it as a kid um, and was really into it. But I tried to play it again off camera a couple of years back. And um, I just wasn't enjoying it. Something about the map design. The levels are enormous. And there's always a bloody egg in a cupboard that you can't find. And you're just running around. But you have to be really careful because if you, if you let your guard down for a second, like a worm or a brain guy, just like pick you off. So you still have to go around in a group with cover of fire, so it just takes forever to explore the enormous maps. I feel like yeah, it definitely had the most potential um, of any of the XCOM games. It's really ambitious and could have been amazing, but it just wasn't finished. Um, it's a shame. It's still a cool game though. Sorry, BB Ford. I don't blame you for unsubscribing. We did do one stream. If you want to go back, if you search the Lewis and Ben channel or the Yogs Live, I forget which one it was on. We did do one stream on it. Also, I didn't love the alien designs. They didn't look very scary. They just looked like a bunch of weird little blobby monsters. I feel it was a, like a mod that just made them just swap the aliens out with like spookier things or, or like XCOM aliens. Battle. I'd be more into that. But thanks for your donation. I appreciate it. Uh, we've got Yellow Banshee George, who says, Hello, Ben. I may have died last week. Um, but I'm not out. Chump me up for the next round of purging. Also, I've finished my Dark Souls 3 Broken Sword run now. I need to figure out something else to play on stream. Any suggestions? Oh my god, you literally completed it with a broken sword? Is that possible? Oh my god. Maniac. Um, I've no idea. Everyone says Bloodborne's good. Like, everyone says, if you like Dark Souls, Bloodborne is, like, the next one to play. Have you played that? I haven't. Oh, Samwise has a guard at the second base. <gasps> oh, my God. Uh, you do. Thank you, Samwise. We will give that one to... Um, noob... Noob, four, five, four, five, four. And they say, greetings, Bempera. It is I, trainee pilot Noob. 
I may have a hole in my chest and lost both my arms in a previous cultist incursion, but I still have my st the stamina to stop chaos. Chump, I mean, guard me up, Bempera. <laughs> Thank you, noob. You're back. You had um, you had like amnesia from that that critical injury. You thought you were Samwise, but you're not. You're back. Back once again with that some ill behaviour. Um, you want to be a trainee pilot again too. That's cool. You can do that. Have I played or streamed Dark Souls? Um, I've played original Dark Souls remastered um, a lot. Well, not I mean, a lot for me, not a lot for a Dark Souls person. Um, in that I've completed it twice, <laughs> which is more than I do for most games. So I really enjoyed it. Um, I've never tried streaming it. It's kind of a game I have to focus on. I'm not very good at focusing and talking. So I don't know if it would make a very good stream. Um... I'd be tempted to do Dark Souls 3. I've never played it. And um, I could do that on stream. That might be fun. But Harry and Tom have just both done Dark Souls streams. So maybe I'll give it a rest. Maybe in a few months when everyone's like, you know, not watched it. Um, okay, more more trucks. Ah, the Mighty Re and Plation both subbed. Amazing. Thanks, guys. Uh, Devastator armor complete. Perfect. Thank you. Um, how much adamantium have we got? For another, for another one? Send it off? Maybe? Maybe just a little cheeky one? <laughs> Ravs rage quit Animal Crossing and started playing Dark Souls 3. <laughs> That sounds like the wrong way round. Are you sure? Are you sure you didn't get that confused? Ah, uh, we need two, two more adamantium to, to make a suit of armor. Come on, guys. How long is it going to make to make two more bits? Oh, well, we've already got five. Perfect. Off it goes. And. Uh, Techno faces can't remember what starting tactic I chose. I chose Devastator, but I did lose those suits very quickly. I can do it. What is Ooblets? I've heard a lot of people talking about playing Ooblets. Tell me more. <laughs> Ravs also found Stardew Valley too stressful. <laughs> Ravs is a special boy. Leave Ravs alone. He has his own needs. Don't judge him by mortal men's standards. Okay. Blue Blitz is like Stardew Pokemon Crossing. Oh my god. Well, it sounds like someone's just made a recipe from free money. You can see why that's so popular. Having played none of those other games myself. Ooh, Orc Fighter. Nice. <laughs> it sounds like a PC game intended to teach grammar to children. That's what I thought. I, I didn't know what it was. When I heard people talking about it, I was like, it does sound like a teaching aid. There's something about that name. <laughs> oh, Blazing Psycho. Thanks, dude. Yeah, right, let's read some more donors. Um, uh, Flightless Hawk I've donated ten dollars. Thanks, man. That's very kind. Um, last stream, I finally managed to upgrade to the rank of Space Marine and then die within the hour, <laughs> as all loyal servants of the Emperor should. It was perfection. If you're in need of more blood to spill, then count me in. Thanks, Flightless Hawk. What more could I ask for? Um, Walrus donates and says, "Hi, Bon. I wonder if my guardsmen will be dead by the time you read this. Can I be a medic?" Maybe, if you're not dead. Um, so by name. Wow, rest. Oh yeah, no, and you've even got medic. You've even got medic already on your name, dude. So let me put you on the plane right now, before I forget. 
Doesn't mean you'll definitely get in this week. We might not do another guard mission. But, um... You are on the plane. And I will give you the medic armor. Perfect. Thanks, man. Uh, Boxer donates $10. Very kind. And says, um... For the Emperor. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Um... Hesu Pulse donates five dollars and says, "Chapter Master under Inquisitorial suspicion." Ben, has my Marine action actually got any kills yet? I've only seen him miss while firing at the enemy, and his unconscious body was thrown around by his brothers once. <laughs> Hopefully, he isn't a comic relief Marine. Oh my god! Um, I remember that. That was good fun. I will check. I will check your your um, your your story, and we'll find out. Pulse. Uh, what do we research next? What's a good research? Has anyone got any suggestions? Oh, Lund has two people. <gasps> okay. Um, I should get the carapace medic armor. Yeah, I probably should. You're right, G-Hybrid. Tome of the Mind. Power source. Wizards. I've already researched wizards. We're building the wizard house as we speak. Um, should I get auxiliary systems? No, they're expensive, people told me. Should we do chapter side operations? Should we do... I suppose we need... Let's go Tome of the Mind. We'll just get it done. And then when the wizards are ready, the book will be ready too. Um, better planes. The better planes are just really expensive though. Like I don't have enough materials to build the better planes yet. Uh, are we really out of bolt gun ammo already? What? I don't believe it. Oh yeah, they're coming. The ammo's on the way. Put a few research on bodies. Do I actually need the bodies? Do Does researching bodies do anything? Um, tell me now, before I waste my life on these things. Does it give me like 10% damage against them or something? Um, it gives you their stats. Hmm. Sure, I feel about that. Uh, NG Hybrid thinks it's not worth it. More guns is always the solution. Well, let's see what I'm going to see if five five scientists do it in any kind of like reasonable time. Um, tactical armor. Build that suit. Uh, right, bolter arrows here. Perfect. Um, let's block that truck. You researched the license to buy it. Oh, that better plane. Right. Yeah, the better the better fighter plane rather than the better transport. But it only it's the same plane with just more hit points, right? Um, are the door kickers grey or gunmetal? I think they're very, very dark gunmetal. But I, either, either design is acceptable. Do you want to see the picture? Actually, I can show you guys a picture of one that um, someone made that's super cool. Uh, it's not official. It's just a picture someone did that looks amazing. Not a picture, a, um, a model someone sent me. It's in the cabinet, in York Towers, actually, as we speak. Um, if I can find it. It was a while ago now, I guess. Um, there it is. Right, how do I save, save picture? Um... Downloads, right, then open open picture. Now show picture. Go. Uh, here he is. This was done by Elemi Winks. Um, it's Ares. He says the chapter master, or at least the first company master of the Mortis Portis Marines. Doesn't he look cool? He's got Ares on his chest, 
He's got the power boot. He's got a multi melter and a storm shield. You can't really see the multi melter. I've cropped it off. Uh, there we go. Uh, he's got a ram shoulder pad. He's got Ex Dorminatus written on the back of his multi melter because he's such a badass. Um, like he's even like got a reinforced like power, power boot servo. What a guy. And he's even got, yeah, he's stomping on a disgusting hatch, which is just like the bastard child of a door. Uh, if you want to see that, it's on, um, if you go to my Twitter, and you click on media only, and you scroll back like a year, it's it's there. Don't worry, I don't actually post much media, it's literally just like two pages down or something. Uh, oh, actually, I tell you what, I can, I can post the link. I've got the power, haven't I? There you go. It's in chat right now. But you know what? The Mortis Portus can be whatever you want it to be. If you want them, if you think they're better grey, they're grey. If you think they're better metal, they're metal. It's pretty loose. Uh. Oh my god. Not enough money to keep producing adamantium. This is a disaster. This is madness. Um, Samwise wants to post a link. Um, you can post it, but it will the bot the bot will purge it as heresy. I can't. I don't actually control the bot. Um, if you post it, I will. I can repost it. Or like I don't can can. Oh, there you go. I don't think already done it. Perfect. Let me check that link. Make sure it doesn't deserve. So this, yeah, this link is from before I'd ever played a Dark Souls game before. And we were really bad at it. Because it was literally our first time ever trying to play a Dark Souls-like game live on stream. So if you want to watch us be really bad at it, then that's the one. It's amazing what a few years can do. Switch to Melter Charge selling. I don't think I can design Melter Charges. I don't have the technology. Um, all right, we just need to get rid of some stuff. Because Adamantium is, is everything. Everything we need in our lives. Trade to corpses. They're gone. Uh, I'm reluctant to get rid of too many corpses. Because they need them for, for good boy points. Uh, sell some power sources. Um, that's like it. Jeez. Everything else we kind of need. Um, oh, we can sell a heavy plasma. Sure. Cast plasma guns. Can sell a few of those. Um, that's literally it. Oh, that's okay. That's 700 grand. That'll keep us going. Uh, so it costs three grand a unit. And if I'm making like 40 units, four times three, 12. So it's like 120 grand per suit. Um, oh, we do have melter charges. Sorry, when you said melter charges, for some reason I thought you meant melter bombs. Don't know why, but you're totally right. I mean the melter ammo. My bad. Um, and how much? How much have we actually built? Thirty-three. And I need like an auto transfer button, like a just a little little macro that just sends the components over, so I don't have to keep doing it. can abort missions. I know I can abort missions. Um, okay, Auntie Brian has got a headcanon story of uh, why this period of the chapter's history is everyone's favourite. This is the chapter's origin story and explains how the chapter obtained its homeworld 
and how it ended up as a dead world. <laughs> oh my god. Did we destroy this world rather than let it turn to chaos and then used it as our own, like, recruiting world? We can get into that. That's funny. Oh, yes. I can just step on us. I could really do with a mission that isn't, isn't an orc truck. That's all I want. It's not much to ask for, right? Um, doesn't feel that much to ask for. Uh, okay. Let's get those suits to go in. How many have we got now? I feel like we've done quite a few. Um, let's have a look. So, 12 marines. Oh, that's not a marine. What the hell? Sort by uh, soldier type. Okay. So, if we put 12 marines on, and we've got one, two, three, four, four suits in the field. This is not going to be the final loadout. This is just me loading up all the armor. All right, there's no one... That's right, everyone in all the armor we've got. So, we've got one, two, three, four... Five, six suits now. Um, we're making one. I'll make seven. We're not making one here, are we? The upgraded ship runs on Prometheum. Oh man, all the more reason not to buy it. Hello. Hello. Whew. Is there any armor left in the factory? That is a good question. We will check. See if we built any suits and forgot to transfer them. Um, oh, we've got motion scanners. Send those over. Uh, yes, thank you. There was one tactical suit in the factory. Um, Okay, where's this Chungus going? If he's coming to our base, we, we're going to have to do something about that. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's back. He's back. Oh, actually, I just remembered. I don't think I've got everyone in training. I've got one, one spare training man. Um... Uh, just keep watching the skies, boys. Oh god, it's landed. Do you need to thin washes? Sometimes you do. Depends what you're trying to paint and how thick you want the wash. Um, I find black wash can be a bit too heavy on some things. It depends if you like if you're doing like a targeted wash and you're just going specifically for recesses. Then generally, I don't need to thin it. But if I'm doing like a wash all over and hoping it seeps into the cracks, I generally do thin it because I don't want too much of it going on the on the surface. You m <laughs> don't tempt me, Tenno faces. Don't tempt me to attack that large. I could I could drop pod this very large, and it would be an amazing haul if we pulled it off. But ah, oh, it could just be I could literally just lose seven suits of of um, seven suits of power armor. Trying to do it. It's a very bold play. But, like, last time I, I drop potted an intact large and we lost half the team. More than half the team. Um, feels like death. But why are you so hot for it? Why? Yeah, I know there'll be a lot of adamantium if we do it does depend on what manner of heretics it holds. Send the guard. <laughs> you cruel, cruel boy. <laughs> Can't send the guard. That'll be a slaughter. Quick 20 minute purge. In and out. No problem. How many people live in a very large? Does anyone know? It's suicide, right? 
I mean, even even if it's like the easiest target, let's say it's um, I don't know, Slanesh Marines or just regular regular Chaos Marines with no Terminators and no Berserkers or anything like that. Um, twenty to twenty-four guys. Fucking hell. Um, I've done larges before. Yeah, I've done two larges, but this would be a very large, which feels a lot bigger. Hmm. Could I send one sorry scout boy and see what's up? That's an interesting idea. That's a really interesting idea. What would happen if I did that? Like, if I just get everyone out, take all the toys off, and I just send old Bill Goat, and I take off his armor, and we just have a little peek. Right? And then he reports back, scout, literally scouting. Oh, I have to send two or I'll lose the drop pods. Is that true? Um... Okay, 28 as well. Just having a little little recon mission, right? Just look. Just a quick in and out. And we'll find out what's there. Scouts ready at your command. Here we go. Alright, drop pods down. Night vision engaged. It's Slaneshi Power Armor, boys. Hmm. Oh. Hello. Too hot for Twitch. Demonettes. Stay out of the enemy's sight. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> what? <laughs> Like a little little face and a big face. Ooh. Oh my god, there's so much so many different flavours of heresy here. Look at that. I wanna I wanna get a good look at that boy. What's the um what's the make it lighter button? Um Can anyone remember that? Don't tell me. I want to see what this guy looks like in in daylight, space. No, that's. Oh, I can only see his back. Damn. Page up. No, nope, that's 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 not it. Um, demonettes like chrysalids run and never come back. Really? Chrysalids? What? They just turn you into? Jeez. Oh, I've forgotten the button. Oh well. That's cool. It's like a, I guess it's like an obliterator or a dreadnought or something. Jeez, it looks pretty tough. Um, control and end. Ah, that's the one. Control and end. Thank you. Thank you. So there we go. Demonettes, Slaneshi boys. Yeah, this. Why has Johnny H lost all of his time units? Oh, you sons of bitches. Did the button you told me to press kill all his time units and end ends the time units you ah oh, it's like i've been alt f forward whoever was the first person to say end you've literally just killed johnny h well done congrats i'm going to call them out and let me scroll back up it's tenno faces Tenno faces. You are a murderer. How dare you. Good night, sweet Johnny H. <laughs> good good night, sweet Prince. You were too good for this world. We didn't deserve you, Johnny H. Goodbye. <laughs> Risk it? 
We haven't got any guns! <laughs> like, what do you want me to risk? <laughs> Backspace to give your units times back? I don't... That's not true. Backspace probably ends turn, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, well. There we go. I'm sorry, Johnny H. You were left behind. Um, let's get let's get some more boys. You're shaking your computer like a pinball machine. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't that work? Oof. Okay, I think I think we got the um. Well, I mean, Johnny H literally maybe got the best end of us all. He didn't get like eaten by a tyranid or shot in the face by an orc. He was literally captured by Slanishy Demonettes. He's having a good time. I think Johnny H may outlive us all. Blessed be that man. He literally got shanked to death. There's worse ways to go. Death by Schnoo Schnoo. Uh, whew, okay. I think we dodged a bullet. Uh, Gortef donates and says, Bon! Do not burn yourself outside like I did. It is itchy. And because I sit a bit slumped. Faith is our shield. Uh, looking at my phone at tan lines made it look like I had a strapless bikini when I was outside. Burn the heretics instead. Wolfus Borkus, brother. <laughs> Thank you, Gortef. Wise advice. More trucks. And more trucks. Just trucks for days. Oh, this one's not a truck. Um, pilot missing. Oh, no. Did I do that thing where I took everyone off every plane instead of just off? Whoops. Okay, where are the pilots at? Um, this one. And... Oh, good. And... Pilot. This one. Okay. Right. Um, Astarad donates twenty-five dollars, which is super kind. And they say, "Evening, oh great emperor! I'm ready to be handed a knife and strapped to the brim with things that go boom." I hope you're doing well this week. I'm finally out of quarantine and back to work. But now it's time for the lovely Ben whispers before bed. Mm. Stupid, sexy Warhammer. Thank you, Astrahad. <laughs> Appreciate it. Well, right, actually, I need to have a little pee break. So, um, I'll tell you what. Oh, look! It's a little, it's a, it's a big littler. It's a large small. This is perfect. These are just the right amount. These guys give off, like, 40 or 50, um, adamantium. And they've only got, like, six, six to eight guys. This is perfect. So I tell you what, we're going to take a little two minute pee break and then we're going to drop pod the marines in and we're going to take this ship and build more armor. So don't go away. See you in two. Hey, we're back. How you doing? Whew. Oh, I feel so much better. I think I needed that for a while. Okay. Um, let's do this properly. Um, sort by soldier type. Um, should we stick as many marines on as we can? Uh, not sending the best boys. A lot of people are wounded here. Okay. Um, how's Wolf Lord Lewis doing? Four more days on his wounded. That's right. Can we get a commissar remote? Ah, oh, that would be quite cool. Oh shit, NL7 missed the, uh, missed the start. Shit. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm probably streaming exactly the same time next week. Next Thursday, 5 to late. So, um, stick it in your, stick it in your calendar. Or something. Um, who deserves the armor, though? That's the question. That's the real question here. Um, oh, whose stats was I going to check? That was a thing, wasn't it? I said I'd look at someone's stats for them. Um, it was Hesu Pulse. Sorry, dude. 
This is a long time coming. There you are. Look at you. You're a badass. It was Hesse Posse last, wasn't it? Um. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Look at that, dude. You're very cool. Hope you're still in chat. And my dono pop-ups working. Yeah, I think they are. They were earlier. Um, so, yeah, you can keep your tactical armor on. It's good stats, boy. Um, right, where are we? Everyone on the drop pod, like, who's actually good and who needs to wear the armor? I don't want to put the armor on, like, complete chumps. you got to earn it, you know? Um, in fact, <laughs> basically anyone with any experience is wounded. That's what I'm learning here today. Take me into um, battle. Ooh, Fipsy. Thanks, man. I'll read the message in a sec. Uh, insane Bolt, even though you've only been on one mission, you're actually starting to, like, level up a bit here. Hmm. you got no bravery. It's bad. Bravery very important. That guy. Ooh, big bravery. Um, did I put the guns back on the pods? Not yet. I'm sorting the armor out first. Then I'll do the guns. Uh, whew, look at that accuracy, though. And that strength. Maybe you can be a tech, tactical boy. Or a brave. Can bravery go above 60? Let's find out. We'll put Master J Speed in apothecary armor and see if that bravery can go even higher. Um... Or create a snag bag. He's been on a few missions, hasn't he? He can have a, he can have a tech suit. Um, oh, Red's fan. My goodness. You maniac. Look at that stat line. Oof. Oof. Um... Have a tactical suit. And look, Unit RX, since you've had seven guys die, I've stuck you in armor straight away. Oh, in fact, you've got really good firing accuracy. You can go and devastate your armor. There you go. You're probably going to survive this one. For once. <laughs> in your life. <laughs> and Voss Bender, there you go. You get the last tactical suit. Perfect. Okay. Um, so, is there anyone in armor that's not on this? No, everyone's in. Perfect. And that's all the armor equipped. Perfect. Um, so, we need a bolt pistol. We need some bolt guns. We need... Do we need flamers? We'll bring one. Uh, we need the melt gun, for sure. We can go for some snipers. Um, we need the heavy bolters. Um, missile launchers. Sure. Las cannon for sure. Chainsword, yes please. Uh, stun rods, yeah. Uh, combat knives. Only crack grenades, I think. And a couple of bivers. Perfect. The proper power armor brigade. This is the most power armor we've ever sent on a mission. Probably overkill for this little boy. Um, but I'm excited. Genuinely excited. But now with the uh, with the new rules on recoil, um, a lot of these guys can't even like, use bolt guns. Bolt guns require 40 strength or they get a penalty. Which kind of seems like madness. How much does a heavy bolter require? Heavy bolter is 60. Are the guardsmen a PDF or are they door kicker ally regiment? I think they're just a PDF. I, I haven't thought of a whole new regiment law for them. Um, so 60 for heavy bolter. Oh, and Hesu Pulse, even though he's only in power armor, can can rock the heavy bolter. Good for you, dude. You rock on. Um, give you a knife. Oh, he's all over. Uh, right, no knife. Uh, 
Alright, Master J speed. Get get the bolt pistol. And I guess we can give you a grenade. Why not? Or create a snag bag. You can carry forty weight. Which is um Hmm. Could be a rocket launcher guy. Because they don't actually have recoil on them. That might be fun. I've never really tried rocket launching much. And like a knife when they get close. Sure, give that a go. Um, Reds fan probably wants a heavy bolter. Who's got the most accuracy? No, it's Reds fan, isn't it? Reds fan gets the new Laz cannon. Yeah, with the Laz cannon backpack. Cool. Um, also gets grenades, because why not? And he'll carry some spare rockets, because he's just like a real, real Take big guy. Ah, oh, Scrabbut. Thanks, man. Thanks for the bits. And they say, uh, hey, Ben, I asked this yesterday during the Warhammer stream, but passed out after asking. Um, so if you go back in time and punch anything in the face, for example, go back and punch T-Rex in the face, what would you punch? The punch will be as hard as you want. There will be no reper repercussions. You will teleport in, punch, and teleport out. Make your decision. Oh. Oh, wow. Big, big responsibility, you know? I mean... You know, do I, I, I should punch Hitler, right? That feels fair. He's he's an asshole. <laughs> he deserves a punch and more. Um, but I guess everyone's using their punch on Hitler, right? Maybe I should get a bit more exciting. Um, I don't know. I d I'm not really much of a puncher. There's not many people I want to punch. <gasps> Plot twist. It's my punch that makes him an angry Nazi. Oh my god. And then I'm responsible. I've ruined. I've ruined everything for everyone. Oh no. <laughs> punch myself and be forever confused, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Go back to the beginning of existence and punch God in the face. Bam. Yeah, I'm worried. I don't think I'm going to punch anyone. Because what if what if me punching someone is is the reason why I want to punch them? You know? Well, I think I think there's just too much danger of like a closed loop scenario here. I'm not doing it. I refuse to play your game, Scrubbit. You can't make me make me punch everyone. What if you like the punch? Ooh. <gasps> Didn't even think about that. Yeah. Sexy punches. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah, Identiken says he'll go with the T-Rex just so he can see if it had feathers. That's a good point. Maybe I can just use this as an about Faith face. Um, like a backdoor time travel, basically. Like I get to time travel and the punching's just like a weird, a weird side perk. That could work. Yeah, I'll go back and like, yeah, I'll go maybe punch a dinosaur just so I can see what dinosaurs were like. Or we'll go back and punch Jesus and just 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 to see if he's real, you know, because then I can go, OK, punch Jesus. Nothing happened. According to, you know, this magic genie that grants punches. Um, it didn't exist. You could just literally you could go down. A you can make a list of like stuff to prove. Prove, prove through no punching. If I couldn't punch them, then um, they're not real. <laughs> Plus, he'd forgive me. So, you know, you've always got that. Um, okay. Recall is only 30 on a sniper rifle. We could take a sniper. Snorping's a good job. Someone's got to do it. Um, maybe Faith the sniper asleep. wants the bibber. Actually, that's a good, good shout. Oh, I think you whisker me out. Oh, 
Right, is that everyone equipped? I think it might be. Um, oh no. Uh, insane bolt. Okay, let's save this as... Um, let's get some admin up in here. Scout bolter. Perfect. Um, let's save... Let's save this as medic. What's save plus? What's the difference between save and save plus? I don't know. Um... Let's get ready for the drop. Ready Here we go. Incoming. Boom. Oh, sudden crisis. Chips and bits. That's fun. I appreciate that. I also missed uh, Lazarus, who subscribed two minutes ago. Thank you. Uh, right, we're in. Drop pod secured. Enemy craft down. Ooh, stank marines. We haven't seen these yet. Oh, I love the iron armor look. There's something really good about like Mark III armor. Looks so cool. Studded thing, weird helmet, backpack. Like, ah, oh, I love it. The Extra grimy. Don't look at the females. Oh. Okay. Preparing to redeploy. Uh, oh, another stanky boy. Cool. Okay, let's get out there. Asterad, scout. Scout your life away. Not literally. It's kind of bunker over there. It's kind of cool. Uh, oh, bunkers usually have like some weird las guns in them or something. That's fun. Bit of special loot. Um, hmm. Oh, hi, Sabir and Hussa. Doing well, thanks. How are you? Oh, most of our Devastators are like right at the back. That's annoying. Uh, let's get Hesu Pulse out there. He needs 52 to shoot twice, so this is perfect. Oh, God, there's a guy on the hill with a missile launcher, question mark? Okay. Um. Priority target. Fill them up. This guy seems to literally be the priority target since, um... Ooh, a couple of crits. Some tr armor shreds. These guys are going to be disgustingly resilient, though, right? If they're on brand, it's going to take an incredible amount of damage to take these guys down. Uh, right, Insane Bolt, get out of the way. Um, so that Orc Raider Snag Bag can thread a crack missile up there. Um, it's 56 to shoot. He can do it. He can kneel. He can aim. Oh, good shooting, dude. You literally blew a hole in that mountain. Amazing. Um, good job. Oh, I'm glad we, we brought the rocket launcher. That paid off. Um, Laz cannon literally right in the back. Let's, um, Shimazawia. Let's get you going around this way. And then we'll get the last cannon up. How much does this thing need to shoot? 87 to shoot an aimed shot. Uh, 103% though. I'll take that. Oh my god, Laz Cannon Reds fan just freamed from like two two screens away. Amazing. Oh, Laz Cannon is good. Oh, it's so nice when you research a new weapon and it's not terrible. Oh, feels good, man. <laughs> Heavy weapons, just in time as well to fight super tough boys. That's perfect. I mean, it helps that um, Red's fan is just like a gunnery god. All the strength, all the accuracy. Hero of the Imperium. Um, right, Unit RX. Need like 24 tons. Let's sprint you up to here. Weapon. See if we can just get a volley off before. Ready. 
Ooh. Okay, at least he missed with his reaction fire. Um, what have we got here? Go flame him. Uh, oh, the Atar's got to go get some food. It wants me to read their dono. Yeah, sorry, dude. I'm really behind on the donos. I'm sorry. Um, let me refresh the page, find it for you. And the Atar donated five dollars. I think you did. And they say, uh, "You're a good boy, Ben. A very good boy." <laughs> oh, that's. That's lovely. Thank you. I feel charmed and patronized yes, at the please. same time. That's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you very much. The enemy is in our sights. Okay. No, Fipsy. Missed. <laughs> Your mission is done. Thank you, Fanko. It's just nice to it's nice to hear nice things, we'll isn't it? Them down from Let's here. be honest. Nice to be nice. Uh, on, let's get this sniper over here. It's only going to be a hip shot. But he's in position for next turn now. Strategic point identified. Uh, I'm hoping these guys, these enemies, are just too far away to really, really hurt us this turn because I think we've basically run out of. The firepower we need to take him out. Uh, going now, brother. Destination confirmed. Even left. Asteroid. You probably need to get out of there. You're in a in a real bad spot there. And Bill Goat. You don't want to be running into the open with your flamer. How much do you need? Thirty one to shoot. You could sprint. Over here, this hill hopefully protect us from the other, the other chaos marine. But this guy won't be able to get us to this hill. I hope. Maybe we can burn the filth out of that guy. Only two hits. Jeez, dude. What the hell? Oh no, we can see that guy. Uh, crouch, Bill Goat. What does the box with a three mean? What box with a three? Can't see any boxes with threes on. Um, hmm. We need more hits on this guy. He's taking quite a lot of damage now. He's taking like a heavy bolter and a, and a flamer and a sniper rifle. I wonder if we could get to like here. Get an auto shot off. And then get a sprint down the hill. Ah, he passed out! <gasps> we knocked out a Plague Marine! Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, nice! We captured one! I mean, he's probably going to burn to death now, rather than stay unconscious. Should we try and run in? Capture our prize? Sprint, Astarad! Into the flames! He's already dead. Oh, well. Too late. Check out the loot hut, though. Oh, cool. It's more of those um, light LAS rifles for the guard. That's fun. Um, oh, God, there's two of them now. Two, bo two bolt gun guys. Okay, that's fine. We've got sniper boys at the ready. Get snipped. These, I've got, right, I've got to stop using these sniper rifles. They literally get one hit out of their four shots. Oh, okay, that one was a crit. Um. None may stand against space marines. Advance. Come on, Hesu Pulse, get up there. Move up. Deploying now, brother. Crouch down. And then next turn, unleash hell. Yes, my lord. I need to get a bibber over here, really. Check out how many baddies are in this ship. Point identified. We will move ahead and mark any I like that Insane positions. Bolt has got a really high movement rate. It just just works for me. 
Oh, Nurgles don't bleed. Plague Marines ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> That's a really nice touch, as it should be. Uh, let's get, we'll create a snake bag up here. Right, Reds fan, you need, you need to get your snipe on with your freaky, freaking laser cannon. Uh, go like here, and then crouch, and then next turn, just king of the hill. <laughs> if they don't bleed. Does that mean you can't kill it? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, if we're living our life by predator rules, then that's exactly what it means. <laughs> Red Span says, I've become a last cannon turret. <laughs> it's true. Well, you're a mobile turret, though, you know, we can redeploy you. So you're slightly better than a turret. I guess the flamer is just... <laughs> I guess that's where he lives now. <laughs> he doesn't really want to run that run that gauntlet. Oh no, they're taking cover behind the ship. Ah, one of them stayed in the open. Sucker. Uh... Get him. <laughs> it fires so quickly, we don't even get to see the death animation. It literally shoots, and then by the time we get there... He's already dead. It's like he dies out of time. Oh, Red's fan. You might be my new favourite. You've got you've got the stuff, you've got the mojo. Detection. You've got the super gun. Hmm. Okay. Um Insane Bolt. Grenade time. Back it up. Back it up, back it in. Let me begin. Master J speed. You too. Uh, oh, he can't reach. Balls. Alright, let's get... Where can I go where he can't see us? Deploy now, brother. Maybe? Okay. Deploy information. Let's go. Deploy information. Moving out. Someone said that they thought the Marines were saying deploy information rather than deploy information. And now that I've heard that, I can't unhear it. So that's all I can hear them saying. I wonder if they regen the Plague Marines. They might do. It feels like something they might do. Moving out. Okay, he's there. Right, melt gun. 26 is your number. Uh, so if we sprint to like here, then we can still get a shot. Oh, that looked good. That looked like we hit him with a lot of business. But we can't check because his reaction fire overwrit the... Um, let's, I, I guess we just snipe him, right? It's time, time for the last cannon. Oh no, there's hedges in the way. Hedges are like doors. Heresy. Just like heresy, it falls to heavy bolter fire. There we go. Shrubbery clear. You may fire when ready, Reds fan. Ooh. It was as he rolled a one to wound. Zero damage. Okay, well, he's been melted gunned and las cannoned. Um, and crack grenaded. This guy's taken a lot of punishment. He is indeed too horrible to die. J Speed, hot potatoes off to Insane Bolt. Um, Strategic point identified. Who throws onto him. Boom. Ready to serve. Okay, well that's all we've got time for today. So we'll just march up. Oh, we've got the rocket launcher. Um, 
I thought it'd be 36 for a hip shot. We could sprint out to like here. And then I could like shoot this tree, almost guarantee a hit and get him with the splash damage. Because if I shoot at him and miss, it would just fly off the board. But if, I'm not sure how much the um how much the damage reduces as you go away from the target. Ah, let's just go for it. Oh it's like I thought it would. <sighs> there we go, the grenade! The grenade was the hit. Okay, uh whew. Artifact seized 20. Enemies killed 5. 34 adamantium components. 4 warp drives. Amazing. Clean. Smooth. Somehow worth less points than a cultist raid. But no one died and we got adamantium. So I'm calling this a big win. Uh, lots of stat upgrades all round. Master J Speed didn't get any stats. That's a shame. It's because all these would run around and throw someone a grenade. Um, but look at that Hesu Pulse got a plus four. That's real good. Uh, plus six strength for Orc Raider Snag Bag carrying the rocket. Really working it out. It's just bench pressing that rocket on the drop pod. Um, cool. What do we get? We'll obviously sell, sell the Tainted Relics. Keep one Plague Bolter for study. Uh, we got two special LAS guns. Uh... Light rockets. I guess I destroyed the launcher um, when we blew the hill up. Go for the black grenades. Uh, sell the warp drives. Don't need those. Well, I'll keep a couple. Oh, the sisters actually died in the crash. Interesting. Havoc's a separate corpse. Got a couple of visions. Don't need those. Uh, cool. Oh, Pro Ninja's here. We didn't know I had a channel. Well, welcome. You've got a bit of catching up to do, but it's good to have you here. Uh, cool. One of the sisters upgrades. Nice. Right then. Um, that was, that was GG, Mother Truckers. Bagel Drone just subscribed. Thank you, Bagel Drone. It's quite a visual image. Uh, we can crank up another suit of tactical armor now. Boop. Ill-gotten gains. Very battle. nice. Uh, so Brother Inkblotus has donated and says, Brother Ben, I hope you will be able to avoid Chimera ambushes. They're pretty rough. I was going to stream today, but it's my birthday, so I'm taking the day off, and I'll listen to you stream while I play 40k Rim World or XCOM and eating birthday cake. Ah, happy birthday, Brother Inkblotus. That sounds like the per perfect birthday. I'm very jealous. I've got more trucks. Trucks for days. I reckon when those two suits of power armor are done, maybe it'd be time to attack an orc outpost. Does anyone know about um, like the difference between outposts and bases? Oh, someone get birthday bot. <gasps> How could I forget? I'm deploying birthday bot right now. Happy birthday, brother ink blooders. It's time for you to eat cake. <laughs> oh, oh first you reckon just we up this up. Another heresy purging stream, indeed. How many missiles has this guy got left? One. Danny Doomborn wants to know how much longer he's wounded for. Okay. We can check that. 17 days, brother. Take me into battle. Oh, I think he twisted tight. Uh, where was I? We were reading donos. Um, thank you, Wink Blottis. Uh, Samwise2450 donates and says, Bempera! We, the last sisters of battle, will purge with holy fire, giving all we have to serve you. Also, you knew you were arrived. No. Ah! Oh, Getting crash. Why? Why you crash? Damn it. Um. Let's try this again. At least it auto saves, like, really often. 
probably only lost like 10 seconds of gameplay there. Something about those orc trucks. Some of them I just have to leave. Um. Geoscape. Three minutes ago. Okay. Uh, right, where were we? Okay, we're coming back. Right. So I have to re up the armor manufacturing. And do they do anything else, or is it just shooting trucks? Right, we're not going to engage that bottom truck. That was the one that crashed the game. So we'll just blow up these two. Um, I'm a bit scared, scared of it. So we haven't fought orcs for ages because they just give no loot at all. It's just not worth it. But we've got to get rid of these guys. So We'll try an outpost first. Since that makes sense. Right? They, they have less orcs. Oh shit, it's crashed again. But they, I destroyed this one without it crashing last time. Huh. Donk. Alright. Well, the Orc Warfield is too strong. We're going to have to let these ones slide. Um, right. More armor. It's like Groundhog Day in here. Um. <laughs> Machine spirit go brrrr. <laughs> uh. Right. Let's see what these trucks get up to then. Just let them let them fly. Fly free crash trucks. Ooh, an actual chaos ship. Let's try and get it with the Valkyrie if we can. Nope, it's gone. Maybe we can track it. Has it landed? Ooh, wowzers. Kicked up a hornet's nest over here. Uh, oh well. Getting intercepted. Can we beat these? Yeah. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Right, which base are we going to go for first? We can attack enemy base 3 up here. We can attack orc outpost number 1. Uh, enemy outpost number 2. Base 7. Base 6. Base 2. Or base 1. I guess we'll go with this one, right? The, uh, the enemy outpost. Feels like the right one to hit. That's going to be the weakest one. But I don't know what these... Some of these bases have got different symbols, right? Base 7 has got like a... That's not an orc symbol. I'm guessing it's some kind of chaos. And then this one is something else entirely as well. Does anyone know what these symbols mean? Base 3 is an easy mission. Okay, is this like a cultist base? Maybe we should fight orcs. We haven't fought orcs for a while. That might be more fun. Oh, Chaos Cult detected. Uh, where was that Chaos Cult detected? Oh, jeez, all the way over there. Okay. Um, oh, okay, right. So, they're saying... Chat is saying this is a Chaos Marine base. And this one is the Cultist base. Good to know. Um, I don't want to do a Cultist uprising right now. That's really annoying. I want to do a base. How's the armor coming along? Which, 13 hours. Um, oh, I can show up and leave. Okay. Let's do that. Uh. Oh yeah, only 30 points lost. Amazing. Easy. 
Right. Um, so we'll wait for that power armor. Be ready in a sec. Do the cult based mission. It's similar to a cult ritual mission, but with a slight difference. Um, Varagon says, first time catching you live. I wanted to say something nice, uh, but you've definitely heard it all before. So just imagine me saying what the last guy said. Off to the VODs. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, Varagon. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> um, right. Let's. Oh, I'm excited. Six hours. Six hours to go. It's going to be good. It's going to be really good. Let's just. Come on. Come on. Tactical armor complete. Perfect. Um, so everyone get back into making melter ammo. And we'll just quickly check how the factory's been getting on. We need 33 more. So send them. Um, how much have we got here? God, this whole game has been endlessly checking <laughs> fucking adamantium components. Um, right, we're equipping. We'll send the same guys as last time. It was a winning team, so why not? Um, Bill Goat can get some tactical armor. Um, Fipsy can get some tactical armor. And then look at that. We've only got one, two, three scouts left. Ooh, it's exciting. Um, right. Was there anything different we want to change about that loadout? Hmm. What do you guys reckon? Is there something we should take? Should I get rid of the sniper rifles? That's not what you want against orcs, right? Um. More, more rockets? Because there might be turrets here, I've heard. Um. We're going for an orc outpost. That's by the way. Um. Won't need the shock malls, will we? Get two melter guns. I, d I don't have two melter guns. They cost adamantium. Um. Imagine dual wielding melter guns. <laughs> you can't really dual wield stuff in this game. There's not really any benefit from it. Okay, let's try this. We're going in. Uh, well, we'll wait till daytime. Three more Marines. That's cool. Uh, right, it's daytime. Dawn raid. Incoming. Let's save. In case it crashes. Oh, we've got some more donuts I haven't read. Um, Samwise. Oh, yeah. I forgot to finish your donation, Samwise. Uh, uni results arrived. I graduated with a first in astrophysics. And I'm on my way to Cambridge and the Institute of Astronomy for a PhD. Due to you. Wow, fucking hell, man. Samwise, congratulations. That is awesome. I don't think I had anything to do with it, though. As much as I'd like to claim credit for that, that's all on you, man. Well done. That's amazing. Um, Lost Lorf says, I can't wait to see what glorious exploits will happen this week. I'd love to have a unit, uh, I'd love to have a character named if the ranks require fresh blood. Well, we did just get some new Marines in, so we'll do some names after this mission. Thanks, Lost Lorf. Um, Powercore2000 says, My Bempera, I can't stay for the whole thing, but I wanted to pay my Imperial tithe. Keep being awesome. Oh, thank you, Powercore. That's awesome. Yeah, you're awesome. Uh, right, Asterad, you're in. Grenades, bolt gun. I mean, you, you are just ready for action, aren't you? Can't argue with that. Bill Goat. Uh, do we still want a flamer? Flamer's pretty good against orcs, right? I think so. 
Um, Fipsy. Bolt gun. Um, I guess that's it. Gortef. What does the Borka want? Um, could have a scout with a missile launcher. That could be fun, right? Uh, has your poles. Very good. Um, St. Bolt. It's fine. Uh, yeah, everyone else is basically still equipped from last mission. So that's fine. Um, might as well just stick some bibbers in. Why not? Just in case people need them later. Okay, we're going in. It's a shame we can't go heavy bolter heavy like we used to, but just not enough people are strong enough for them yet. Don't let the rocket boys grow up your, blow up your gear. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Right. Oh, we're in the corner. That's good. It means we're not going to get surrounded. Is it dark? I guess so. Oh, there's grots here too. That's cool. What was the button again? Control. Oh, I've already forgotten the brightness button. Let's control something. Um, someone help me. Why can't I never remember what buttons are? Tom. Tom. Everyone's saying Tom. Ben, Tom. Hey, is it a Tom raid? I did not get a notification. <gasps> Welcome. What's Tom been up to? Was he streaming and now he's not? Tell me more. What have I missed? Not a raid. Just people going nuts for Tom. <laughs> oh, he's just saying hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Your internet's crapping out. Did you try pouring more dongle juice in? That's what I heard fixes everything. Faith is our shield. Ah, Wolf Lord Lewis just gave Tom a sub. <gasps> Tom, you weren't subbed before? Oh! <gasps> How dare you? <laughs> he said the holy prayers. Oh, but your faith was found wanting, I assume. Well, welcome to the XCOM stream. You've come at a momentous occasion. We're raiding an orc outpost. So we've just drop potted in. And the door kickers are here in their glorious finery to shoot the, shoot the aliens. Wish me luck. Hold my hand. I'm scared. We've never done a orc base before. Last time we fought orcs, they were attacking an Imperial Guard base, and they, like, wrecked us. Aw, oh, thanks, man. Good luck to you, too. Um, right, let's get a little bit of lay of the land before we start taking shots and deciding what to do. We'll get, where are the scouts? We've got Insane Bolt. He's, he's a good boy. He's got a very appropriate name, because he's good at running. Um, Stay out of the any other scouts? Site. Astarad, right. Astarad, get out there and find the orcs. Oh my goodness. There's orcs, uh, thousands of them. Um, there's loads of, look at these little boys! We these gobbos! <laughs> Check them out. We've not fought little grots before. Eh. So this is like some kind of workshop, um, and there's like a hole here, like night vision this. Can't see in the hole. Okay, I guess that's that's the Vod Goblin breeding pile then, I assume. And an orc's already fallen in it. Don't know whether to be sorry for him or be jealous. Uh, right, priority number one, find the orcs with the rocket launchers. Uh, not that guy. Not that guy. Who's this? Guy? He's an heavy orc. Okay, cool. Take me into uh, battle. Ooh. Magic Curti. Just cheered 400 bits. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Um, I can't see any with rocket... Oh, here's one. Okay, that guy there. He needs to die. Um, 
Is that it? Most of them have got sluggers. Which I'm fine with. Absolutely fine with sluggers. Um, how many pearls will I get for this mission? <laughs> That's a good question. Ooh, the greasy vodgoblin pearls. <laughs> I can't imagine the marines have much use for them. But I'll claim them nonetheless. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to get unit RX out of the way and clear the line of fire for the holy sniper, Red Span 1. He can see... Oh, no, he can't see the rocket launcher guy. If I try and hit him, what happens? Uh, what's in the way? That corner of that building. Ah, oh, but if I blow that up, then the next bit of the building will be in the way, right? Um, where do we think we need to get to to snipe that guy? Like, maybe like over here? Would we pass that building? Maybe Orc Raider snag bag. <gasps> He's turned on his own people. Oh my god. Can he shoot from here? I think he can. I'm going to give it a go. No, 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 fire. What's in the way? Oh, part of the drop pod's in the way. Fine. Okay. Oh! Uh, what? There was just a massive fucking hole in front of the drop pod. <laughs> Mind the gap, he put his foot down and just dropped like six foot into the fucking floor. <laughs> How was I Mennonite? Like, there's no way I could see that. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Can he get out of the ho He literally can't get out of that hole. Um, brother, I have fallen. <laughs> Um, I did get a different move icon, apparently. Oh, I could have seen it. Um, brother, I am pinned here. Help me. <laughs> this is his life now. He lives in the hole. Um, arc the missile out of the hole like a mortar. <laughs> oh my god, a big part of me wants to just reload the mission. Like, the first move I make is to fall in an invisible hole. I call bullshit. Um, Preparing to redeploy. I <laughs> this is my life now, brother. I'm sorry, I, I'm not a save scummer. If things don't go my way, I don't save scum. But this feels like a... Yeah, there's just a fucking hole there. Like, if I'd known there was a hole there. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. This is lame. Um, like, oh my god. That's just insane. Who knew there were invisible pits on this shield. map? Thank you, Tim Dimwit. Right, we're going back in. Um, we're not walking in that hole. Right, unit RX. We'll take take the same moves we did before. Right, we'll run this guy to here. Fine. Um, we'll take some shots as well now. Why not? Oh, unit RX. It's no good. Um. Ah, oh, Zinch has granted us a vision! <laughs> exactly, that's how I like to think of it. Uh, right, Fipsy, get out there. Come on. God, every time he takes a step, he stops moving because he sees another orc. There's too many of them. Um, okay, Fipsy, take some shots. You're dead to me, Fipsy. Never call me again. Um, the medic. Get out there, dude. And shoot him. Shoot him all dead. <laughs> Please, gobos. Oh, it feels bad shooting gobos. Oh, yeah, because look, now he wants to go around the hole. He's not trying to go into it. Oh, look, that's what the icon looks like. It's like a square with, like, I assume that's going to be an arrow. Um, okay, good to know. So we need 59 to take an aimed shot. I don't think that's going to be possible. 
go here. And we'll try and thread the needle on that rocket guy. Oh no, not enough time units. Because we had to turn one degree and then we ran out of time units. Um, okay, well we'll just... 38 to shoot someone else. Let's get out the drop pod and, and hip shoot this nerd. Ah! Take that, Orc House. Ooh! Nice! Double kill! Pretty cool. Um... So, 88 to sniper the laser cannon. Um, okay, red fan. Choose your medicine. Who's going to get super framed today? I vote this guy. Oh man, red's, red's fan. He's just... just a, literally, every turn he just kills something. Dead. Laz cannon next. Laz cannon next. Lost Bender. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. I know there's a lot of orcs. Stop stop stopping every time you see an orc. Or you'll never get to shoot anyone. Oh, That's not how you melt a gun. Okay. Um, Smarioa. Smarioa. You're the one. You're the one to kill this orc. I always believed in you. Everyone said you couldn't do it. But I know that you're the chosen one. Oh jeez, you're too far away for a... for an auto shot. Okay. Um... This is going to be a real slugging match. These orcs are tough. Can Gortef take, them down from here. take the shot? Yay! Gortef! Best boy with the long range missile shots. Gathering intelligence. Uh, I guess he just stays there. Stay in the drop pod. Why not? Oh my god, that was literally exactly what we needed. Oh, okay. There's a missile launcher in the Vod Goblin pile as well. Uh, hopefully he can't get out. That's my dream. Let them fall before us. Understood. Come on. Yes, we pause. Come on. Come on. Oh, there's so many. There's literally blooming thousands of them. Thousands of them. It's good, though. It's good. Heavy bolters are what you need against orcs. Oh, hey, we've got a hype train going. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh, DJ Triple Zero has asked me, "Have I played Mechanicus? And did you play the DLC?" Yeah, I've. Um, Lewis and I played Mechanicus together on the Lewis and Ben channel. You can check that out. We, I can't remember if we completed it or not. We played it for quite a long time. There's a fair few episodes on there. Um, but then when the when the DLC came out, I played it on my own, like offline, and um, I put it like cranked the difficulty right up because I'd streamed it and played it quite a lot before. And um, yeah, I completed it on the highest difficulty with the DLC. It was really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, you should check it out if you have not already. Um, I don't think the DLC was particularly exciting. The DLC missions were like my least favorite missions in the game because they were a bit grindy. Um, but the game's still really good. But you definitely want to crank the difficulty up if you've played a lot of like uh, strategy squad strategy games before. It, um, it was a bit easy after a little while once you got a few level ups. Uh, have I ever thought about playing Elder Scrolls Daggerfall 2 with mods? I don't know what that is. Um, what is Daggerfall 2? Tell me more. Second, second Elder Scrolls game. 
No. I played um played a tiny bit of Morrowind and then didn't play any of them until Skyrim came out. If you don't have nostalgia for Daggerfall, don't look into it. Yeah, that's the problem. Most old games, that's the case, isn't it? Like, if you, if you played them when they were new and, you know, you, the nostalgia can carry you through. Otherwise, it just doesn't really work. Right, here we go. This is going to be the big one. Hold on to your butts. Oh, maybe we're too far away for the orcs to like properly engage us. Oh my god, they got arms on them, haven't they? They can really chuck those stick bombs. Jeez, just wang them. I have no idea how strong stick bombs are. Can power armor hold it? Jeez, how many are they going to flip and throw? I was told this latest patch fixed grenade spam, but apparently not. Apparently grenade spam is uh, still strong. <laughs> they have strength 3 AP 0, Ben, don't worry. <laughs> uh, Blazing Psycho wants to know if I read their dono. I don't think I did Blazing Psycho. Um, I'm a bit behind on donos, to be totally honest. Oh, let's just see who dies first before I start reading messages. Nobody's dead. The gear's not dead, because the gear's back here. Um, I don't think even anyone's wounded. Ready to serve. Stick bomb... Oh my god. Power now we've finally got power armor. It's Deploy like... It's like stick bomb proof. Ready to serve. No one's even wounded. Take me into battle. <gasps> Perfect. Alright, let me... um, Let me check. Uh, Blazing Psycho, where are you at? There you are. Hang on, let me just copy across all the new donos. Um, just take me a sec. Um, I need a better reader. I'm just copying them into a spreadsheet right now, which is not ideal. <laughs> Orc Knob donated two dollars and just says, Yeet! <laughs> Very appropriate. <laughs> Thank you, Orc Knob. <laughs> um, where are you at? Blazing Psycho. Uh, today is my birthday, they say, and they donate ten dollars. And as I sit down to totally do work with my free Starbucks and birthday cinnamon roll, I thought I'd donate money I would have spent to Bond Stream. Blood for the Blood God. Oh, birthday. Cake for the birthday boy, more like. Thank you, Blazing Psycho, and happy birthday. I am dispatching birthday bot now. Expect him at your location momentarily. Okay, so this odd boy is in, in, a, in a pit. He is in the pit. Let's get in there. Come on, Vespender. Melto, gun him. Framed. Jeez, they didn't even kill him. Just like wounded him. He was a real hard boy. What is this guy? Oh, just another hard boy. Okay. There's lots of grots over here. Lost Bender, did you bring grenades? You got one grenade. Okay. Maybe I should have bought frag grenades. I thought frag grenades wouldn't be strong enough to kill orcs, but if they're just gonna have a million grots, maybe I should have done. Um <laughs> melted his heart. Uh, right. Okay, it's just heavy bolter time, right? Yeah. What does the last cannon want to say die to today? Uh, last cannon says... You must die. You'll get him eventually, Reds fan. <laughs> One at a time. Let's get uh, Unit RX's heavy bolter up here. Okay. Uh, oh no, I think I've balked my line of sight here. <laughs> okay, aiming for the orc. Took out the grot. I guess that'll do. Oh, thanks, 
versus Maru. Appreciate it. Appreciate this sub. Uh, Medic probably shouldn't be the first in the fire Faith line. That doesn't make mission. sense. Weapons ready. Uh, All right. We'll create a snag bag. Weapons ready. Is I guess if I just shoot this hill, I can't really miss, right? I just shoot that guy. Oh no! Totally can miss. Good job, snack bag. <laughs> um, we just need to get closer. That's the problem here. My theory there was if I missed him, I'd hit the hill and kill them both. But he just super missed. Yeah, everyone just needs to leg it in. We're way too far away. Bolt guns have got incredibly short range. Even less than 24 inches, it feels. If that's possible. Mm. Bump! Perfect. Um, God, this poor old Bill Goat. He's got to run the gauntlet to get into flamer range here. Ah... Uh, Imagine if orcs could throw goblinks. In goblins. I don't know what goblin is. Um, in Blood Bowl, trolls can throw goblins, which is quite fun. You can give a goblin the ball, and then a troll picks him up and lobs him down the pitch. It's amazing. Mining them on targets. Not enough time units, of course. Okay, Gortef. Rockets away! Oh! Gortef! What the hell, dude? You can't just shoot Fipsy in the back like that, you maniac! I guess that was. A I thought drop pods were like higher up. I thought we could shoot over their heads. Apparently not. Oh. Crap. Okay, can anyone like... No. Command. Insane Bolt might be able to retrieve that body. We will move ahead and mark any enemy positions. Uh, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Yes, my lord. Crap. Okay, well... I guess we'll get the medic over there and hope he can live for a turn. And then we'll, we'll, fe we'll heal him. Take me into battle. Dapper Wolf, thanks, man. Oh, God, I wasn't even looking at the line of sight. I just thought, he's high up, he's going to shoot that hill and clack and... Oh, crap. Disaster. Um... You've been a naughty boy, Gortef. But then you were a very good boy earlier, so I guess it cancels out. Uh, go here. Crouch. Get this heavy bolter going. Uh, that's all we got. Killing quite a few orcs. We're getting there. <laughs> that was Lewis' work. <laughs> oh! Rocket detected. Oh, the grots are panicking already. <laughs> Gordon is just a boy now. That's true. He was a good boy, and he was a bad boy. So now he's just boy. <laughs> Jeez, fucking grots. Wee, <laughs> gobos, Okay, he's alive. He live. He live. Get over there, Master J Speed. Get over there, medic. Kiss that boo boo better. Fipsy's back up. Oh my god. Okay, we need Fipsy to like not die today. Um, mainly for his armor, but let's pretend it's for Fipsy too. Um, okay, sprint. 
Sprint into there, Bilgo. The charge of the flamer. The fire. Oh, I just set it all on fire, dude. Oh, well. Oh, well. What can Gortif actually shoot at without shooting anyone in the back? Um, no one really. He's always going to hit someone in the back. Unless he's very accurate. Targets. Rockets away! I sense danger. Um... Okay, I need someone to draw their fire so that Fipsy doesn't get killed. Advance. You're up, dude. Just sit here and get everyone to shoot at you. Make a big loud noise. Make one man feel like a hundred. That'll get their attention. So we got uh, is it all grots? Yeah, it's just grots. It's grots all the way down. Uh, right, just grots. Always has been. Uh, okay, melt gun needs to get get indoors. He's doing nothing out here in the open. Um, There we go. Okay, we're there now we're getting into them. Now the heavy bolters are opening up. We can do this. Um Advance. Is this a door? Okay. Oh no, it's a ladder. Oh, we can go on the roof. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, yeah, let's Next turn, we can like pop up and melt that guy and then pop back down again. That'll be fun. Uh, right, Asterad. Get another grenade because we know there's a rocket guy in the pit. Okay, so what we do is we creep up. It's like here. And then next turn, we look over the edge and drop the bomb in. Perfect. Um, so pause, getting the bolter in. Uh, Saying Bolt is bleeding pretty hard. Stay there and get get medic Bolt. Um, while you're getting medic, if you wouldn't mind popping some some grots off or something, that would be pretty cool of you. Uh, Yeah, everything else is too far away by the looks of it. Okay, stay on Overwatch and soon bolt. Um, or oh, greater snag bag. Just bring him up. Deploying now, brother. Moving up. Destination confirmed. Understood. Uh, oh, Reds fans run out of people to frame. Boo. Maybe he doesn't need to see. What? Oh, he rolled a one to wound again. <laughs> what the hell? There we go. Oh, Bill Goat. Literally like two sluggers and he's dead. Alright. No more no more flamers for tactical marines, I think. It was a bad shout. Heal this scout up. Deploy information. Maybe, maybe everyone's healed now. Oh no, hang on. This guy, oh jeez. He really did make one man feel like a thousand. Everyone shot him to bits. Okay, get over here, dude. Come get your boo-boos kissed. Deploy information. Uh, heal, heal. God, they're going to be here for a while. Um... Deploy. 
But mission accomplished. It's exactly what I asked for. I cannot complain. Let's get a Vosbender up here. Melt. Melt this armored boy. Roof pop up attack. Let's go. Uh, we got him pretty good. Back down. And that, this heavy bolter should be able to finish the job now. Well, he's had all his armor melted off. If he could hit something, Unit RX, come on. No, he did get a hit. He's bleeding. He's bleeding. Um, okay. Uh, right, Astrad, get up to the edge. Find that rocket boy. Where did that rocket boy go? Huh. Okay, well, I guess we just grenade that guy and back up a bit. Um, Fipsy. You need your gun back, dude. You need to really stay out of sight. No more hits on Fipsy, please. He's finished fighting for the day. Um, his mum's written him a letter. Not allowed to play anymore. Gortef is just going to grab another rocket and try and get a bit closer. I've uh, got any more orcs we can shoot at? We've got all grots now. Come on, as you pulse, get up here. So... I know you're saying no more zero accuracy shots. Zero accuracy does not mean zero percent chance to hit, especially if you're shooting at terrain. It's a weird, weird quirk of old XCOM, but I'm not insane. If you just shoot at like a hill with a zero percent chance to hit, there's still actually a really high chance you'll scatter a tiny bit and still hit the hill and do exactly what you want it to do. Um, I'm not, I'm not a crazy man. Trust me. I know that saying I'm not crazy is is insane. <laughs> Does it mean 0% when an ally's brain is in the way? <laughs> hey, don't be mean about Fipsy. He hasn't got brain damage. He's okay. <laughs> right, snag bag. If you would be so bold as to uh, blow yourself up, that would be grand. Good job. I had an eight crouched aimed shot at a guy pretty close to you. You had to shoot the <laughs> building. <laughs> Perfect. <sighs> right. Reds fans. Super off board sniper support. Where is he going for today? This guy. You die now. <laughs> Reds fan is just pay playing a point and click adventure game where every puzzle is solved by. Use Laz Cannon on Orc. <laughs> That's it. Every time he has his turn, he's just like, boop. <laughs> this one died today. <laughs> ah, the Orcs are panicking now as well. It's not just the Grots. Okay, this is looking good. If we can just keep everyone alive now. That's the trick. Uh, right, keep medicating. If we can get all the wounds healed up as well before the end of the mission, that'll reduce recovery time, which will be nice. Um, nice. Asterad shooting down an un unarmed orc. Pretty cool. Let's go for another one of these pop up attacks. Hello. Oh. There we go. Boss Bender got him in the end. Shit, he's got three fatal wounds. Oh, shit, I didn't realize Vospender was wounded. Um, it's annoying when there's so many enemies, the wounded markers just like go off the screen. I wonder if killing orcs, no, killing grots panics the orcs. Back in the day, orcs were immune to panic caused by grots. But I don't know if the game recognizes that or not. 
be fun to know. Um, I'll upgrade a snag bags out of um, out of missiles. Time to lob a grenade. Uh, has the Red Fan actually got anything left to shoot? He's literally wiped everything out on his part of the map. Right, time to go grot stomping. If every enemy is panicking, does the mission end? I feel like it should. Destination confirmed. Advance. Do I literally have to hunt down every panicking, shriveling grot? Hope not. Right, Vosbender, come get your boo boos kissed. Everyone report for boo boo kissing immediately. Understood. We well, was gobos. Oh, well, he's dead. Borders. Right, who's actually wounded? Borders. Oh shit, has your pulse. Jeez, everyone, everyone come get your boo-boos kissed. Deploy information. Grot, stomp, baby, grot, stomp. Grot, stomp, baby. Alright, send out the scouts with the bolt guns, I guess. Start mopping them up. I sense danger. We will root it out. Uh, oh, Red Fan's got a target. Delete. Man, people who are gonna people going on the grot stomp are gonna get like really artificially uh, inflated kill counts. <laughs> Fipsy had to go get food and ask if they're still alive. Oh, Fipsy, you missed it. Gortef shot you in the back with a crack missile and you went down on like one health remaining and then um, uh, Master J Speed came up and like medicked you back to life and now you've come back and you're on like eight health um, but you're okay. You're going to be out of action for a while but you survived a missile to the back of the head so um, it's pretty good. <laughs> he didn't shoot the rocket, he played fetch with the rocket. <laughs> it's true. Gortef, best boy. I mean, I love, I love Gortev so much, and we're forgiving him for rocketing a guy in the back. Yeah, the medic made it. Oh, I can't believe it. you saw the missile, and then you had to go. You, like, you missed the, um, the nail-biting finale. Oh, my God. Um, right, finish healing all these guys. Oops. Uh, boop. Cool. Got all the heals done, at least. Um, upgrade a snag bag is just like run out of missiles and doing it the old fashioned way now. Preparing to redeploy. Attack. Strategic point identified. Has anyone died? I think Delgo has died. I think you might be the only one who's died. Poor old Bill Goat. He need to look like Roger. one hit from a bloody um, pistol. At your command. Right, I think that's it. There we go! <gasps> we did it! Orc outpost destroyed! Whew. Oh my god. So we killed 30 enemies. Um, we took one alive. Interesting. Um, Greenskin Outpost Purge, 250 points, GG, uh, one unit lost. It was a suit of power armor, which is a bit of a shame, because we did not gain any adamantium for this. We did get 744 points. Faith is our shield. Um, aw, thanks man. Uh, Latian, 96. Ben, keep on warhammering. Thanks for subbing, man. We did get a lot of XP out of it, which is pretty good. Um, who got what? Insane Bolt got plus four accuracy. That's good. He was a scout. He needs to level up. Vosbender got accuracy. Unit RX got accuracy. Um, Hesu Pulse. Yeah, everyone got accuracy. Did even um, Red's fan got an accuracy for being Snipe Lord? Um, Fipsy got four extra hit points. Guess whatever uh, 
And loads of strength. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger, I guess, Fipsy. Oh my god. Um, yeah, great. Good upgrades all round. I think almost everything can be sold, though, right? We don't want sluggers or ammo bits, shooters, blasters, rocket launchers, choppers, stick bombs. Keep the honor badge. Uh, we'll keep the corpses, I guess. Uh, one live grot. <laughs> Jeez. We've got a pet grot. We've got both. We'll bring him home. He's a good boy. Rest in peace, Bill Goat. He died very, very poorly. Faith is our shield. Oof. Well, I guess that means we need a new marine. Actually, we're going to have guys wounded a lot. Let's get five more in. We're, we're entering the stage of the game now where everyone's um, everyone's getting wounded for months. Uh, let's shoot some of these trucks down too. And we can make more armor. Nope, not quite. How much we short? Uh, that's adamantium. We need seven more components to replace that suit. Probably really got them made. No, we've only got five. Perfect. Um, oh, truck. Damn truck. Landed. <laughs> Interrogate the grot. <laughs> Tell us your filthy Xenos plan, scum. Hey, I'm a schemer. <laughs> Please, come on. <laughs> right, we got more messages. I've got to catch up on these donate messages, guys. I'm sorry I missed them all. Uh, Twisted Tide donated and says, I've got to join the pile today. More shooting, less getting shot, please. Have fun. Well, I think we did a pretty good job there of shooting, not getting shot. Thanks, man. Uh, Wolf Lord Lewis says, um... Which law is real and which one isn't? It's illegal to enter the House of Parliament wearing a suit of armor. Only in York it is legal to sh shoot a Scotsman with a crossbow upon seeing them. You can't use a bow. You can't use a cow, horse, or steam engine while drunk. Well, I've heard about the law where apparently you can shoot a Welshman crossing the border after midnight or some old nonsense like that. But there are some weird laws that I think you'd still get done for murder, <laughs> even if you tried to use it as a defense. It's just these old laws have never been challenged, so they exist, but as soon as they are challenged, I think they wouldn't hold up. Um, but I get probably House of Parliament wearing armor, that sounds like a real law. Because, like, the Queen's not allowed to enter, right? Um... Both thing is BS, according to Bob Sickle. It's overridden by murder laws, so they don't bother repealing the outdated law. That's that's what I would have thought. That sounds about real. Oh, he says they're all real. Wow. Yeah, weird common bylaws are like just bonkers, I guess, because they make them and then they just never get rid of them, no matter like how obsolete they sort of become. But they sort of superseded by like more modern laws. I guess. Thanks, Wolf Lord Lewis. Uh, Fipsy donates and says, Greetings, Brother Ben. I can't think of anything interesting to add to my donation. Just some money to support the best weekly streams. Oh, thank you, Fipsy. I'm really glad you didn't die. <laughs> um, Samwise2450. I will purge. Oh, who's this? Hey, it's Rhythian. How are you guys doing? What were you guys playing? Were you wowing? Oh my god, if you were playing WoW, and you've just raided me, does that mean I'm like a raid boss? Is that how that works? <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, cool. I haven't played that yet. Is it good? Take me into battle. Because I've borrowed a PlayStation from the office. I got console exclusives I generally don't play, because the latest console I own is a um, an Xbox 360. <laughs> 
But now I've borrowed a um, PlayStation and I'm playing Spider-Man. I'm sort of tempted to try out all the other exclusives. Pretty good. A solid 8.5. Nice, 8.5. I'll, I'll take that. That's that's good. It's a good score. You'll be on PC soon. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll wait for the PC version then. Not quite as good as God of War and Bloodborne and Spider-Man, etc. Yeah, I think I'll play like Bloodborne and Sekiro first. And then see if I have time for anything else. Yeah, everyone tells me to try Bloodborne. And God of War. They're on like everyone's top list. It's weird, isn't it? The PlayStation 4 really got the better exclusives this time around. I can't really think of any Xbone games, ex Xbone exclusives that I'm like desperate to play. <laughs> what borrowing bullshit is it? I bet Ben liberated it, but it, <laughs> but is afraid. No, we just get you know we've got a few, we've got a lot of equipment in the office for like you know people who want to play like Red Dead or whatever, and no one was using it because. PS4 is pretty out of date now, so I'm just borrowing it. I'll, if anyone needs it, I'll bring it back. It's all cool. No one needs to tell anyone anything. Everything's fine. <laughs> Been commandeered. Oh, well, welcome, welcome, Rivian gang. We're playing, uh, we're playing classic XCOM but with a heavily modded version, so it's got all Warhammer things in it. Um. We just finished a big mission that knocked one of these orc bases off the map. That's what these purple things are. There was one around here. We just, like, took it out. It was cool. Um, and we're unfortunately actually getting pretty close to wrapping up. I reckon we've probably got, like, one more mission in us before we'll have to call it a day. Um, and we've got five, five new recruits coming in that we need to name up to. And... All right. So we've got... Um, uh, Wolf Lord Lewis has donated a dollar, and he says, The Jarl returns from another hunt, covered in blood and various other bodily fluids. Gross. Um, dragging a weak and weary scout by his ankles. It's Johnny H. <laughs> How he did this is unknown, but the Allfather protects. A, a dono to add Johnny H back onto the wheel. Okay, I'll write that down, man. Thanks. Johnny H sadly got left behind on a failed mission. Uh, right, how do we do at the end of the month? Excellent rating. Everyone's pleased. Except for B Sector, which has fallen to chaos and become corrupted. We've lost funding from Sector B. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, we've still got an increase overall in funding because everyone else was so happy. But Sector B has fallen to the Dark Gods. Can it ever be saved? And our librarians have detected a chaos base. And we finished Tome of the Mind. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on. So what's Tome of the Mind? It's a magic book. Um, you take stun damage, but you can mind control if you're strong enough, Psycho. Okay, we can research the librarian now. Cool. Um, librarian edits. We can now produce librarian armor. Um, how much does that cost? I bet it's really expensive. Oh, we can't even do it because we don't have a librarian. Okay. Cool. Um. Right, okay, that's the end of the month. Let me just see, where is Sector B? Um, this sort of gothic script is a bit hard to read. Oh, shit, there's England. The UK has fallen. And where was this new heresy detected? When it, like, pick librarians have detected a new enemy base. Um, is it one of these? Um, sorry guys, I'm a bit behind on the donos. Stuff keeps happening in the game. I'll get back on it in a sec. Um, I don't think any of those were new. Where's this new activity? Uh, probably in B. Okay, well we could send a... Um, oh, everything's repairing. I'll send a plane there to investigate in a minute. Okay, uh, where was I? I was reading donos. Um... Jinji has donated and says, I'm popping my donation cherry. Keep up the annihilation of Xenos scum. Can you please chump me up as the Scoutmaster, please? For the Bemperor! You got it, man. I'll put you on the list. We'll get some naming done in a second. See who gets in. 
Uh, Danny Doomborn is donated and says, Father, I return. Now, I am on the path to become a space wizard. I turn my mind on the greater workings of this world. I think you're still alive, aren't you? I think you can still make it as a space wizard. There you are. Still 12 days in sickbay. But you're getting there. You're getting there. Thanks, Danny Doomborn. Um... Could you name the next vehicle you get the Thunder Child in recognition of Tom's love of War of the Worlds? I'll try. I don't know if I'm getting a new vehicle today. But, um, we'll see. Um, what else have we got? Is that one of them? Oh, and then lastly, Samwise, 2450. Not lastly. Oh, God, no, there's loads more. Um, so <laughs> just prints the lyrics to You've Got the Touch by Stan Bush. Which is a classic. I'm very sad I can't use it anymore because of Twitch's uh, new hot hot takedowns on um, using copyrighted music. Which I guess is fair enough, but it makes me sad. I enjoyed a bit of the old Transformers music. Got some trucks. I think what you'll have to do, if you guys miss it too, you'll have to just get the playlist ready yourselves. Like, get it off YouTube. And then while you're waiting for me to come live, you can, you can play it yourselves. Then that way, old Stan Bush gets a bit of bit of ad revenue, doesn't he? Which is, to be fair, what he deserves. Um, right, what was next? Um, w B P Lund has donated and says, "I've got to be in the Vod Goblin pile for the next few weeks um, as I go back to the Netherlands." But I finally sorted out my apartment, so I have somewhere to live. So tonight is for myself and painting minis, and now apparently watching a Ben stream. Ah, oh, thanks, Lund. That sounds like a nice chill evening. Get, get all your jobs done. You can just kick it, some food and some painting. Nice. Uh, a follow-up donation. I don't know if my marine is still alive, but if he is, can you please see if he can have magic? Um, I don't know if he's still alive. I think he is. Um... Yeah, there he is. Um, we will find out who is magic and who is not in two days' time when the chapel's complete. So we'll find out soon. Um, Uncle Bulgaria donates and says, Ben, have you played Titanfall 2 yet? I bought it after spying it in your Steam library during the Warhammer stream, and now I'm completely addicted. If you recruit me as a bleb, I please ask the other boys not to mention the fish hands. <laughs> Perfect. I haven't played it yet. I bought it. It was on sale on Steam like a couple of weeks ago. So I picked it up cheap because everyone told me it was amazing. But I haven't um, haven't had time to play it yet. I've been too busy addicted to Monster Train, unfortunately. That's been taking over my life. Oh, I need to buy more missiles again. Didn't I just buy 50 missiles? Like, just the other day. Jeez. Uh, I'm just getting another 50 missiles. Getting through this, all these orc trucks. I need to take out those orc bases. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing Titanfall 2. Take me into battle. Oh my god. Power user of Userland has just dropped $50. That's a half hundo, dude. You crazy man. That's super generous. Thank you. Let me grab your message. Um, get them in the spreadsheet. It says, greetings, Bempra. Here is a token of appreciation from a Vod Goblin. Oh, we use gobos. Thanks, power user. These are some juicy pearls. I appreciate it. Um, Danny Doomborn uh, donates $3 and says, I'm planning a D&D campaign world themed around monsters from Greek mythology in the Jason and the Argonauts film. Um, so would you mind telling me what Greek models you've got and how you painted them? I just got a box of skeletons that are individual bones. Help. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, let me, I've got the box literally on this shelf right here. So I bought um, these guys. Let's go full screen for a sec. They're from War Games Atlantic. And uh, they're basically skeletons holding like ancient Greek weapons. And um, they're, the downside is there's 32 in a box, right? But one in every four comes in like 50 parts. And it's a complete ball like to stick together. So I actually just didn't build them. And uh, effectively only got like 
I don't know, um, it's like 24 skeletons or however many it works out to be. Um, because there were others that looked absolutely fine. So that's my, my recommendation for like the ones to get. They're pretty cheap. I think they're like £20 a box or something. 22 or something like that. And um, I can show you the, the painted boys. They're super easy. So all you do is uh, let me open the cabinet. You're getting too much glare on the old. Um, on the there we go. So all I did with these guys was sprayed them white, and then gave them a sepia ink. Gave the entire model quite a heavy sepia ink wash. Even though it's not focusing properly because my hand's shaking. I think if I put my hand behind it. I'm told that out. There you go. Yeah, spray white, sepia ink wash, and then the shield is just like bronze, bronze paint with an ink wash and then like a silver dry brush. And then the transfers you can get, and there's a million companies that will sell you um, Greek hoplite shield transfers. And it's very easy, very quick and easy army. Looks brilliant, lots of fun. The, um, the sort of like bronze statues are like 54 mil scale hoplites that I just found on eBay. I don't know who makes them. But if you Google them on eBay, just like 40 mi 54 millimeter hoplite, you'll find a bunch of like lead pewter models. You can't go too far wrong. There you go. Um, another thing is if, um, if you want more monsters, there's a game called... Oh, I forgot what it's called now. Um, oh, I've totally forgotten. There's a board game that comes with a million Greek monsters. Um, and they look really good. There's like a Hydra and a Minotaur and a Gorgon and stuff like that. But I've totally forgotten the name. Mythic Battles. That's the one. Thank you, G. Keighley. <laughs> um... So uh, that's quite a pricey game, but you might be able to pick up them individually on eBay or get the whole set if you want to use the models. But there's lots of really nice Greek mythology guys in there. Uh, yeah, so thanks, dude. Um, Shugalini has donated $5 and says, Clone Bill Goat and give him an extra chance. Kiss, 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 kiss. <laughs> Aw, that's very kind. He deserves an extra chance. I feel like he was taken down too soon. Um, Unit RX donates five dollars and says I've made it three missions. So here's my dono for surviving. Nice, thanks, dude. All it all it took was a incredibly strong suit of armor. Who knew? <laughs> um, uh, next up was um, Satric Nil donates ten dollars. Thank you, and says Ben, long time vod goblin. Have you ever checked out UFO Alien Invasion? It's the most complete fan-made XCOM scale style game I've ever seen. Maybe. Kind of rings a bell. Let me have a look. Um, oh. Oh, is this the mobile one? Let me watch a YouTube video of it. Because I did try a mobile XCOM game years and years ago. Maybe it was this one. Yeah, yeah, it was this one. But I think I must have had an earlier version, because this looks a lot more further along than the one I played. Looks pretty cool. I don't really do a lot of gaming on my phone these days. But, um, yeah, looks pretty cool. Oh, you can get it on PC as well. There's a download for it. Nice. Yeah, I'll check that out. Open XCOM's on Android. Really? I could play, literally play this game on my phone. Madness. Um, and Dapper Wolf says, don't give doggos rocket launchers. <laughs> Thanks, Dapper Wolf. It's smart. It's, it's the smart way. Um, right, let's let's get some time moving forward so we can like get this new batch of recruits named. Here we are. Um, oh god, cult cult activity detected. All right, I'm gonna send um, 
Valkyrie to go check for that base. I'm going to rename these boys. Um, sort by uh, ID, I guess we'll get the new ones at the bottom. Yeah, there we go. Right. Spin that wheel. That's going to be Danny Doomborn. No, you're already in. Thank you for your donation. Spin the wheel again. 14. It's Yellow Banshee George. Are you still alive? Oh, God, is this stream just going to turn into me checking who's alive and who's dead? No one wants that. Uh, I don't think Yellow Banshee George is still alive. So you can be in again. George, thank you, dude. Welcome aboard. And um, all right, spin the wheel of madness, and it's going to be flightless hawk. Boom! Welcome aboard. Thank you, dude. Uh, spin the wheel again, and we're going to get uh, power. User of Userland. Wow, that almost doesn't fit. What a name. <laughs> Welcome aboard. You're a space marine. And spin the wheel again, and we'll get. Oh, it's Shogaloni who wanted Bill Goat to come back. There we go. Blammo. He's back. And it's Blazing Psycho. Blazing Psycho still alive? I think he died. You're in now. And delete these rows. Okay. Uh, next up, it's going to be. Tide. Bam, thank you. Welcome aboard. And next up, it's going to be Pew. Power Core. You're in. Thank you, dude. Um. Danny Doomborn says, my sister in battle has become a battle boy. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Bill Get was scared he was going to awaken a Dreadnought. Oh, man. I can't wait to build Dreadnoughts. That's going to be amazing. I wonder how far off we are. I'll check it in a sec, actually, once I've named all these guys. Next up's number 15. Um, oh, man, it's Johnny H. is back. Wolf Lord Lewis. Went behind enemy lines and rescued Johnny H from his death by Schnoo Schnoo at the hands of the Slanish cult. He may never be the same again. Oh, my God, but he's come back hardened. He fears nothing now, for he has see seen eternal ecstasy. Ah, oh, and that's it. That's all the new guys named. <laughs> um... I've got four more training slots. Alright, um, sort by... Such type. Right, uh, right, I was going to check Dreadnoughts, wasn't I? Dread... Uh... Mortis Fire? Mortis Dreadnought? What does that need? It needs... Plasma Cannon and Storm Ravens. Plasma Cannon needs... Needs a Plasma Cannon, I guess. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. Um, what about the Hellfire Dreadnought? Needs Multi Melters, which needs Chaos Multi Melter. Okay. So either Plasma or Multi Melter. Um... And what do I need for the Storm Raven? Ceramite plates. 
and power source. Okay. So I'm like four techs off a dreadnought? You want venerable dreadnoughts? Um, I imagine that they are going to take even longer, right? Uh, Plasma Cannon, Storm Raven, and what's Stir at Veteran? Need special unlock. Okay. You get a free Dreadnought armor that has a flamer when you research mid tier tech. I've already done mid tier tech. I can get a free Dreadnought. What the hell? Sounds bullshit. Rhinos are a thing. Oh my god. What do we need for rhinos? Rhinos are not a thing. Um, I think rhinos are a thing in like um, when you do like custom battles. You can do like just generic battle generator and that's got all sorts of stuff in it. Um, go to soldiers and when choosing the training options they should be a turn into dreadnought option. Really? Don't you need the... Doesn't the Dreadnought just bring people back to life, though? Dreadnought isn't armor for normal people anymore. You need to revive a brother. Um, don't burn the books. This is a lot of information. Um, in the soldier list, there's a tab to make a Dread. Why am I just learning about this now? Um, okay, so for example, hard for mech. Here he is. He's amazing. Um, what, what am I looking for here? I, mean, I need more information here. Check his diary. His dream journal. <laughs> <laughs> you need the tech first. Rhino is part of the chapter armory. Okay. Chapter. Um, chapter teachings. Chapter armory. Faith is our shield. This is just like a little factory thing, right? My buttons at the bottom will turn into a drop down list, and the fourth option is dread. Okay, so. I can't do dreadnoughts yet because there wasn't an option for it. Take me into battle. Well, what am I looking for? I don't understand. Um. Ooh, ending the warp. Wow. How do I get a bit of transport? Transport ship, that's like an enemy ship. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I looking for here? No, I haven't researched power sources and warp cores. So I need I need to do power, I've done warp drives. I need power sources. Um power sources then ceramic plates. Wait for the Thunderhawk, the others aren't good. Okay. This warp talent got taken a while. Fine, okay, well, we'll stick with wizards for now. Then I guess we can go Storm Talon, then um, Dreadnoughts. It'd be, it'd be a while off yet. I'm saying I can research the heavy plasma. I started trying to research the regular plasma, and it was, took absolutely ages. Um, but I've got a heavy plasma. Yeah, we can research it. It's just a case of needing the heavy plasma... And the warp and the power core and the storm raven and the ceramic plates. So it's like four techs away. Well, and then five to actually get the dreadnought. So we're five away from dreadnoughts. Um. So we'll finish the librarium and then we'll then we'll go into that. What does the librarium actually do, by the way? Is it just a building that lets you build librarian armor? Um. Or does it actually is it does it help with wizards? Uh, 
How far are we from chaplains? I don't know. Um, Take me into battle. Uh, chaplain armor. Research required. Chaplain armor. Sergeant armor. Oh, I haven't got the assault armor yet. Um, and to get assault armor, I need a raptor. So, until I literally, I'm sort of locked. I can't get sergeant armor or chaplain armor until I get assault armor. And I can't get assault armor until I get the raptor. So, I've only seen like two raptors this entire game. And I haven't captured either of them. Uh, so, God knows how I'm ever going to get one of these. Oh, and warp talent does not equal raptor. So, I've never seen a raptor then in that case. Um, plus, you know, they're close combat guys. So, the chances of stunning them, I'm going to lose a lot of guys trying to get them stunned, that's for sure. Um. We'll capture the gear the Marines have just literally stun rods. I think that's it. Um, I'm going to skip that cult mission for now. I'd like to get a bit of research done. Let's... We could land shoot everyone at the entrance and then leave. Raptors are their own faction. Ah. Okay. What, so eventually I'll just see a plane full of raptors. Jeez, did we literally find the cell immediately? We, the drop pods blew the ritual room up. <laughs> <laughs> Mad. Unit RX just slots two cultists. Very good. Um, God, we, everyone got wounded last mission, so actually there's no one in these drop pods. Um, where is this last enemy? Oh, there. Get him, snag bag. Alright, that'll do. See you later. <laughs> oh no, we ran out of crack missiles. Um <laughs> You know Eric's got a bit of permission for getting down two boys? Why not? Why the hell not? Send the guard. I don't know if I've got enough time for another mission now. We've fiddled around for so long. Ah, look. Here we go. Mr. Tor found the new base. This is the one that corrupted Sector B. How much did we lose for losing Sector B? Half a million. Half a million a month in lost funding. Oof. Um, okay. the base, do you get it back? I don't know. I hope so. Seems fair. I've been told you can, but not everything I'm told is true. So, um, maybe. Bases are two-part missions and they take a while. Um, can I petition uh, that when dreadnoughts happen, after Heavy Plasma, that they're all named Unit RX 1 through 7. <laughs> but I think you actually do turn people into them, right? Like, they'll be called whatever they were called before I put them into a Dreadnought. And I'm only going to take the, the best boys. It's a large. Look at his large ways. Look at his big booty. Shaking about. Ah, chapel's ready. Here we go. This is really what I was waiting for. The grand reveal. 
Who is a good wizard? Who is not a good wizard? Oh. Why, why no wizards? Do I have to put them in for wizard scanning? Um, martial training. No. Devotion. Oh look, so the, the sisters, we already know their devotion. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, Danny Doomborn has got a desperate hard on to be a wizard. So sure. Um, all right, sort by sort of time. I guess we'll just we'll just do ten marines at a time, right? Just the top ten. Get these guys scanned, and the next ten. The Inquisition has questions for you. Don't mind the black ships. Cool, okay. Yeah, well, we'll get through them all eventually. Uh, does it take a month to find out? Or is it quicker than that? I hope it doesn't take a month. That'd be really annoying. Alright, pants down. Probing begins. Hopefully we'll find out next stream. Okay, missiles are here. That's good. Ah, right, okay. Oh, that's what that large was. That large was a chaos... Marine ship coming to terrorize. So, I think that's where we're going to leave it. We're going to um, we're going to prep for this mission, and then next stream we'll do the big chaos terror site. Uh, what if you take some rookies? Alright, anyone who's wounded, get your get your suits off. Uh, is that everyone? Looks like. Okay. And boom. Perfect. Okay. We four suits short. Doesn't feel right. We're still making one. Uh, can't make one. It's just a quick cheeky transfer while I remember. Um, and I think we're ready to rock. So, um, I'll bring the shock mauls in case there's a raptor on this mission. Feels unlikely, but you never know. Um, got the last cannon. No, we've got everything. I think we're good to go now. Right, let me just check if I've read everyone's dono messages for the day. Don't want to miss anyone out. So the last time we got up to... There. Faith is our shield. We had... Um, Mr. Mouse, who did a sub-message that I missed, and said, Hey, Bon, please can I have a boy? Also, for your Tom and Ben Warhammer campaign, maybe a Gelt campaign with Mix's Legendary Lord mod for all of the elect accounts. Yeah, I'm kind of keen for a Balthazar Gelt. The only thing I'm worried about is that he'll be quite similar to Pirates, because it's another sort of gunpowder army. But maybe. He's definitely on the maybe pile. Um, and then we had two more. Uh, Major Tweed said, It is I, my lord, the possibly dead guy, walking corpse extraordinaire. Keep up the purging fire. <laughs> Thank you, Major Tweed. And we had the Spankinator, who says, While the enemies of the Bemperor still draw beth breath, there can be no peace. I wish to purge the Xenos and heretic scum of this planet. Oh, thank you, Spankinator. You got in just a little bit too late. I've got no more recruitment to do today. But I do appreciate the support. Um, Zerith asks for power armor. And Wolf Lord Lewis wants to go back in apothecary armor. Um, and Tenno Faces says, I think you can make Webbers now. Oh my god, okay, that's a lot of information. Um, hang on. Right, Zerith, where are you? Uh, you're in scout armor. Are you, are you good enough to be... Um, to be a power armor boy? Let me check you out. 
Well, we're pretty far down the list there, sir. Um, where'd you go? Why am I being blind? There you are. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, no, you're pretty cool. You've not got great accuracy, but you're, you're pr pretty strong. Strong and brav. And you have to have two plasma hits to the face, so... um. Yeah, well then, who do I take out of the armor? That's the big question. Um, everyone else has done done real good. And they all, all earned their armors. I tell you what, we'll put Wolf Lord Lewis back in the apothecary armor, and then we can give Zerolith. No, oh no, Wolf Lord Lewis didn't have power armor. Oh shit! I was hoping I could give him the old swapsy. Um, hmm. Sorry, dude. Um, I tell you what. If you survive this mission, you will earn your armor. We've got a new. We've got another load of adamantium coming in in the next two days. So you'll be next in. You call dibs. Uh, what was the other message? Um, webbers. I don't think I can make webs. Honestly, I don't have um, the supplies for them, if I can. Yeah, no webbers. And... Oh, Lord Lewis wants the banner. We should try the banner out, shouldn't we? Never tried it. You've got pretty high high bravery now. Why not? We've got some money. Um Jump to banner. Sure. Boom. So the banner is like a spell you cast effectively. The guy holding it does a, an aura effect. And everyone around him gets a small proportion of their time units back. That's the theory. That's what I've been told it does. I've never tried it. It costs a million bucks, so it better be pretty freaking amazing. But the amount of time units it gives you back is based off of the bravery stat of the person using it. Um, if it just buffs bravery, then I don't need or want it. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what it does. Uh, did I catch all of the, the donos? Let me check the... Um, Bits. I might have missed some bits. Oh man, Zerolith sent me a bits message asking if he could be called Zerolith Pla Plasmaborn. But I actually did that before the stream started. When I was going through the soldiers and reminding myself who I had, I ne renamed him Plasmaborn because he took two hits to the face. We think alike, dude. Oh, cool. Uh, Magic Turtle cheered and says, Hey Ben, I thought 500 bits a long time ago and used only 100. What should I do with the remaining 400? Send them to me! <laughs> Thank you, Magic Turtle. I appreciate it. Um, Sudden Crisis says, Hey, Bempra, this is my first dono ever, but I had to make the financial hit for my favorite stream. I was hoping to be able to uh, be added to the list of Catagen Guardsmen to purge the greenskin. Well, actually, you're in luck, because Samwise was just telling me that he's got, like, an extra... Guardsman, he thinks. Um, although maybe not. No, don't think he does. Uh, no, I have no spare boys today. I'm sorry. Uh, where's, where's my page gone? Um, but thank you for the bits, man. Um, scrub butt sent some bits too and said hey but um oh no everybody else i did that one cool i think i'm up to date i think i did them all <gasps> oh my god what is this it's heresy bam we did it right that's it then oh lund has one do you has lund got a guard and a marine uh you have We've got a marine and a pilot. Oh, perfect. Well, we can give that to, um, to, who was it that wanted 
specifically wanted a guardsman. Uh, where is your name gone? Sudden crisis. Perfect. You are the Valkyrie pilot. Bam. Nice. <laughs> Daddy Doomborn says, Father, the chat has turned against me. Help. I can't help today, dude. I'm finishing for the day. The Emperor helps those who help themselves. <laughs> awesome. Well, you guys have been great. Thanks for hanging out. I've had I've had a lot of fun. It's been good. We've made some progress. We've almost got the full the fools the full shebang. In fact, maybe even just having a couple of scouts in the drop pods is the best anyway, you know? Got all this power armor. I think next time we'll handle this terror mission. And then if things go well in the terror mission, we'll move on to a chaos base. Should be good. Amazing. Right, let's let's raid someone. Let's send someone a happy happy raid. Let's see who's still online. Uh, Ah, Breeze. Breeze online. He's doing RimWorld. I love some RimWorld. Okay. Is that enough? Is that, is that good enough for the quest right there? Uh, yeah, people spam it. Make, Breeze makes it expensive as hell, and they find a new thing to spam and repeat. Well, they haven't so far, have they? There we go. Go say hi. Tell him how to play RimWorld. The meals aren't refrigerated while they're traveling. <laughs> oh, so maybe I should make packaged survival meals. There we go. For, have fun. Uh, meals Thanks for, like, for watching, guys. Remember, I'll be doing Mondays. the same thing next week. So, five on Thursday. Ben shoots orcs and chaos men. Should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Catch you later, guys. Bye.